Dear Lord, as we place all these bets tonight, <laughs> we just ask that one of them hit. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be that guy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I'm gonna say amen. amen. I'm gonna say amen too. And then he gonna hate. Also, man, you might they need their ass beat, Bruh. Why you put that blunt wrapper in my cup, nigga? <laughs> you green, <laughs> you bro. You green as hell. <laughs> I would literally drink it up that cup, bro. You drink, bro. That's my fault. No, I damn sure didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, this trash. No, nigga. I nigga literally just drinking some juice up that cup. Yeah, bro. bro. We the only niggas in here. I don't know why I didn't think you was using that. Man, see what see what people do, man. Anyway, man, this is another episode. Random Max of Podcast, man. Thursday edition, man. Hey, man. Fuck DJ Drama. I'm Mr. Thanksgiving, man. Drop every year on Thanksgiving. Oh, Joe said he don't co-sign with that. He I was going to say, damn, I guess I'm holiday season. Yeah, holiday man. season. Hey, shout out DJ Holiday, man. Bro, his shit, he had one of the hardest tags. He got the best Gucci Man mixtape. EA Sports Center, that's Bro, the best Gucci Man mixtape ever. He got a couple of, like, best mixtapes. That nigga had a run. Yeah. That nigga had, man, salute motherfucking DJ Holiday. <laughs> I ain't hating, man, but... um. I hate it when uh, Slew him. He got a good podcast, though. When I guess, like, when DJ Holiday and, like, drama stopped a little bit and, like, everybody started going to DJ Scream. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did not like DJ Scream mixtape. Nah, that nigga I was said, not. That nigga sound like he was hoarse on it. He's like, DJ Scream. I wasn't a big fan of Scream. Nah. All right, bro. Your name Scream, and you sound like you <laughs> you dying, nigga. You whisper. <laughs> DJ Scream. All right, bro. That nigga tags light as hell. And they got the worst drops ever. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I ain't fuck with none of that shit. Nah, bro. Run me that holiday. Run me that drum. Shit. Run me cannon before uh, DJ screen. Oh yeah, I like the cannon drop. Cannon steps back, uh, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. Cannon fire. Cannon. That's about and it. And when that body drop, nigga, Brr. that was one Brr. of the hardest motherfucking drops. Brr. You know you had a record when you hear that body oh, yeah, drop. That, uh, other one affiliates, nigga. Mm-hmm. Pay attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, all those shits. Are- one day I'm have one of them, one of them motherfuckers. They gonna just come in here and we just Atlanta DJ is un, unmatched, nigga. Yeah, we just gonna have a nigga just come in here just spamming shit. I, we, I fuck with that. Just throw out the podcast. Swamp Izzo. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with that. Producer tag all through the podcast. Man. Don DeMarco. <laughs> just, 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 I can fuck boom, with that. All that shit. But anyway, yeah, I said I'm Mr. Thanksgiving, bro. I'm taking that name. I don't think bro use that shit no more, bro. Man, go crazy. Man, you eat, what you eating for Thanksgiving, bro? You ain't eating Subway this year. Nah. I think Devin is actually eating Subway this year because he's not in town. Yeah, he not in town. I think he legit <laughs> might be eating Subway this year. It ain't, like, it ain't even a joke this year. That nigga might be eating peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> might be eating coochie. I don't know what that nigga Well, is. we know he going to be eating coochie. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm probably going to Pensacola for uh, Thanksgiving, so I'm 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 gonna get some of that good ass, you know, turkey from my grandmother. Um, I like a dry stuff in personally, so she always make me like my own little shit. So there's only there's multiple kind of stuff. Nah, 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 nah. I'm inventing that shit. I don't um, like all that chicken well, broth they, and shit inside. Well, of they it. say it's uh, dressing and then a stuffing. I don't know the difference. I don't eat either one of them. Man, that shit potato, potato. Yeah, ain't the stove top one with like. I know my grandma and my mom, they make it where they put like sausage in it. It, take, it tastes okay, but it's just like, I ain't really. Some I don't have it. I don't have a multitude of ways to where it's meat in it, no meat, pause, you know, if necessary. Yeah, but I'm just saying. We got to grow up one day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, until then, <laughs> protected. One, one day, one day we're going to grow up on here, y'all. But, I ain't eating meat, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga just said turkey, bro. <laughs> um, nah, 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 you was talking about sausages and shit, so I was like, let me just, you know. Man, I I seen one picture. I was like, I had the block brother even posted it. He had a screenshot a girl on Facebook. She had a turkey and it had like a, a I don't know. It had an extremity on the turkey. Bro. Nah, bro, come on, man, <laughs> come on, man. It had an extremity on the turkey <laughs> and two testicles. And she was like, 
I'm about to ride the shit out of this turkey. I had to leave yeah, the kitchen. Nah, nah, nah. Everybody got to get blocked, bro. I'm blocked, bro. Everybody I'm like, bro, why you blocked. showing this, dog? <laughs> Everybody get I'm blocked. I'm like, bro, keep this on Facebook. Yeah, bro. I hate them niggas that be like, I seen it, so you have to, too. <laughs> like, nigga, no. It should have ended with you. No, have man. some decency. No, nigga, that's how I seen that one nigga that went to high school with us beating his meat. Bruh, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, man. That come on, man. What are we doing, bruh? He will be. I couldn't believe that video. I didn't even <laughs> watch long enough to see that. I think, oh, what the fuck? Bruh, move. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is done. Let me add context. This is a nigga we went to high school, bruh. He went to prison a couple years. He kind of he kind of loony to Nah, me, that bro. nigga. Out his, he off his rocker, he bro. Looney Tune, bro. I don't know what that they did to him out in that prison, but he got free maybe a year ago, and he was just in front of a girl car beating his meat, and I was like, bro, what's going on? Though? Shawty was like looking over a balcony. I, I, at first, I didn't know what the fuck she was looking at. Like, I'm not. This may be problematic. I felt bad for her to. I seen her caption, and she was like, "I'm about to get this nigga number." Oh, my. <laughs> bro! I, I almost spit this shit everywhere, <laughs> nigga. That is crazy. I've stopped feeling bad. That is, cr- you can't feel bad. I've seen that. I'm like, I don't feel bad because she is. She's clearly on, a victim. Man. But then she said, "Come on, I'm about man. to get. I'm about to yeah. take this nigga home." Yeah, she removed her uh, <laughs> victim card, bro. I looked at that shit. I said, "Cook race." She pulled that bitch me. out like a Yu Gi Oh and threw that shit. <laughs> oh my god, right, bro! I, I don't care no more. <laughs> I don't feel bad that this happened to you. I'm like, why did why post that? <laughs> I'm about to get his number. Is insane, bro. And that was that shit under it too. They were like, the comments was agreeing with her. I'm like, bro, where are we? I'm like, bro, we done strayed all the way from the lowest light, man. Nah, that's it. You know what? Hey, shout out to bruh. I mean, it, his shout his, out to bruh. His crazy. lunacy work, bruh. If he pulling bitches, beating his meat outside, bruh. What can I say? What's going what can I say? I'm not gonna hate on this nigga. Hey, if y'all listening, <laughs> don't do that. Bro. It just worked for that nigga. Man. Yeah, bruh. Don't try this at home. <laughs> don't work. It, it don't work for everybody, bruh. Just, just try. Yeah, don't try this at home. Like they said on the WWE DVDs back in there, bro. Like yeah, that shit, that's crazy. I don't think that I'd have the confidence enough, and not to not to sound like you know I I I don't feel confident enough, right? But I'm saying like you got to be a different type of nigga to oh, just well, yeah, you whip be, your nick your dick out. Well, you got to be clinically insane, also. True, no normal person going oh, like whip, whip shit your up. dick out in public, bro, and to just be <clears throat> willy. Oh, nitty. that's one of my they need to ask me. It's a dude. It was a doctor. He owned a doctor's office. And bro was literally just walking around the doctor's office, butt ass naked. And the girl was like at the reception desk, and he just got a meet, and he started like stroking his shit and all that. The By doctor? The, the doctor, bro. All right. He was taking the drugs. I don't know where he was on, bro. That nigga hit that laughing gas. <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm laughing, man. I'm out of my I'm mind. Laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loony. <laughs> oh, like, right, bro, what's going on, bro? Like, I was like, dog, you you think you you run around like you Pac. I don't even think Pac was doing that, dog. Nah, 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 nah. Pac ain't have enough kahunas, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I was like, my nigga, what are you doing, bro? The nigga just walking around just like doing whatever. I was like. Bro, you should know you about to get caught, bro. It's Look crazy. at my meat. It's <laughs> on the table. <laughs> meat on the table. That's crazy. It's on the desk. <clears throat> I told y'all I was going to bring meat to the table today. <laughs> I thought we was going to have a... Come on, th- <laughs> Come on, bro. I thought we was having a potluck. No, I brought another kind of meat. <laughs> like, bro, what's, what's going on, man? I was like, bro, people... people. I'm not saying people... No, let me, let me, let me get it together. People are out here looking for ways to get paid. 100%. 100%. Ain't no easier way to get paid than you, a nigga just walking in their bit where they meet out. Hey, pause. If you was to walk in your meet out, I'd have known you 20 years. I'm suing you, nigga. That's like, some real se- shit. Sexual harassment, That's nigga. some real shit. I'm about Lock to get paid, this nigga bro. up. I'm, gonna give, I'm, like, I'm, gonna give, I'm traumatized. I'm going to give you 30K, bro. I'm going to give you like 30. I'm suing you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do like six months. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be cool with that. I'm suing the city or somebody, bro. I'm getting I some come money. out. I need 15, bro. <laughs> I need 15 at minimum. 
And then we're going to talk about, you know, my trauma. Well, I'm going to be a- Acapulco. What? <laughs> what? <Let's> stop. <laughs> I'm going to be out of there a bit, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> It, it, it's a this is Thanksgiving edition, so we we gonna we gonna run it a little short today, man. But hey, if y'all on that Patreon, Patreon dot com slash Ario Podcast, man, we dropping bonus episodes every day. Yeah, I know it ain't no uh, shortage of content on there. Yeah, man, drop that uh, classic tangent episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta forgive. Um, Highly problematic. Yeah, I had a moment in there. I think I edited it out. Thank God, bro. I was like, man, please. Oh, don't oh let I this actually, I didn't edit it out because it wasn't that bad. Okay. I mean, I could take that. Yeah, you just say like one thing and then we just start laughing at you. Bro, we I heard la- that. We were laughing so loud, you couldn't even hear the other state that was going on. Bro, I heard that nigga <laughs> Banks laughing so loud. That shit like interrupted my flow of like, I was distracted like a motherfucker at, for a second because my girl was, uh, she was upset about some shit. Huffing and puffing and shit when she came in. I'm like, hey man, what's up? <laughs> like, is it something that I can do to help? What's going on? You know what I mean? Uh, she just being a woman. Bruh, bruh, to a T, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Banks was laughing so loud. I gave I I I I quit giving a fuck about whatever she had going on. And I looked down and realized. I ain't mute my mic. I was like, oh, Did you have headphones no. on? Nah, nah, that bit was just, yeah. That's why she probably was mad. Cause Man, she heard nah. that. Oh, okay, she was nah, mad anyway. Nah. Yeah, she had came in mad. Like, oh. yeah. Oh, that shit ain't had nothing to do with that. Hey, man, that's crazy, man. She was probably listening to that new Kendrick album, man. Also, <laughs> man, on the Patreon, that's a, that's a segue. We have reviewed the Kendrick album. So if you on this episode looking for our review for Kendrick album, you got to get that Monday episode, man. That's all we said, man. Every Monday, we drop an episode. Every so, Monday, you, we, you, you, you got a, bu- a second episode yeah, of... Yeah, second episode. R.E.O.P. Damn near every day, you getting a bonus episode. Yeah, you getting live stream. It's supposed to be live streaming tomorrow, hopefully. We'll see. Then you got Tangents. I mean, 304 Talk coming back too, right? Yeah. It's a lot of motion on that Patreon, man. Patreon.com yeah, slash Ario yeah, Podcast. Three or four talking. Yeah, man. Me, me and, me and <laughs> Jay, we've been debating like the past week. Oh, cool. We trying to figure out the new logo. Yeah. And for whatever reason, I don't know what's going you on. You need to just. Y'all logo makers don't want no money, so. I'm going to make her logo. Oh, no. We got some. Hold on. Let's pull the oh, phone okay. out, man. We got okay. some. We got some logos. Gonna say, it's going to be her bent over. <laughs> Three or four talk right like between her legs. That's crazy. I'm just saying. I, don't think, I know marketing, bro. I don't think that's a logo, no more. I know marketing, bro. That we, shit work, this some of the This some of the ones I came up with. I came up with this one. This one look all right. The one with the phone. Fire. I fuck with the first one. Okay. I love that. Yeah. I've been coming up with some good ones. I'm like, okay. We, I thought we agreed on one, and then she came back today. She said, "Hey, nah, fuck, nigga." Her one that she, the draft that she drew up is pretty cool, but I that don't know. Is, if, that's a pretty cool draft. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. If you if you do that, my nigga, I tip my hat. Yeah, we got we got to figure it out. I'm not a logo nigga. I'm pretty okay with the designs and whatnot, but I ain't really fire fire with a logo. But man, some of y'all niggas don't want no y'all niggas don't want no money, man. Hey, man. And then some of y'all niggas charging three hundred for the logos, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, Biden, Biden's America, man. Arm and a leg, you know, these days, bro. They taking limbs, black market. <coughs> I'm trying to think how much I paid for the REOP logo. I don't think I paid that much. I got it from John. I might have paid like maybe, and this was like 10 years ago. I might have paid like 130 for it. Yeah, I was going to say John. At the most. John, John pretty reasonable with his prices. You know what I'm saying? I feel like John gef- definitely give you your bang for your buck. Um, yeah, man. John a good one. He always solid in my book. Yeah. But he ain't want that money this time. Damn. He, I'm actually surprised. Hey man, he Hollywood out here, man. Nah, he got a lot. He got a lot going for himself. So I I, I salute that. I respect it. Yeah, shout out to John, man. Um let's get into voicemail. To send a voicemail to this up. Mail at RAOPodcast.com. That's mail at RAOPodcast.com. Uh as soon as my laptop stuff out there remedial. We can look at these voicemails. All right, there we go. All right, this first one, I think this from the homie Willa. Let's get it. Willa World Peace. Willa. 
What's happening, fellas, man? Good, that young fan be be back on the voicemails. But uh, I just kind of ask y'all, like, um, what's one of the greatest lyrical, like, lyrical verses that y'all have heard? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, you know, there's quite a few out there. So I just want to kind of get y'all opinion on on that. Also, um, let's uh, let's never let Roy Jones be on the commentary for boxing again, <laughs> or Rosie Perez for that matter. Like, I don't know what they were doing with that uh. With that whole commentary thing, but yeah, yeah they could have did a hell of a lot better. They could have paid me out of one of them. So, um, also let's not overlook. I mean, I know Paul, uh, Jake Paul, and Tyson was a big thing, but that whole cause that card was good. Like them women that fought, man, they went at it for real, for real. So, like, I feel like uh, Tyson and Paul just got kind of overshadowing with that bullshit ass fight. But the rest of that card was pretty good, and uh, they need their ass beat. The Jazz need their ass beat, man. After that loss, bro, I, I don't know what the hell they got going on. But yeah, man, y'all boys stay up, man. Love y'all. Hey, man, love you too, brother. But hey, man, Tremaine, man, Shh. mind your business on the Jaguars. Yeah, bro. We trying to get Travis Hunter, man. Mind them Saints business. What y'all doing over there? What y'all y'all got? Uh, they get spanked. Y'all got Mike Thomas over here. He ain't even on the team no more. He crashing out on Derek Carr, bro. Word, well, what is it? Yeah, Derek Carr, he crashing out on him, man. Worry about that, man. <laughs> we trying to get Travis Hunter on the Jags, so we need to lose all these games. I'm welcoming all Jag losses until we get Travis Hunter. We need to end, we need to end the season two and fifteen. I can respect if that. We end it two and if we end two and fifteen. We get Doug out of here. We get Balk out of here. We get who else? Like, just clean the whole house, bro. And bring us, I don't know who they're going to bring us, bro. Even get Jackson the Villa out of here. We need a new <laughs> <coughs> I do be hating on that nigga sometimes. I ain't going to lie. That nigga get to fly through the stadium, bro. That shit hard as fuck. They got a new Jackson the Villa, but I remember the old Jackson the Villa. I used to have to transport him through the airport. For real? Yeah, when, he, when they used to do like the London game. You ain't game. getting an autograph? Oh, uh, I think I did. I don't know where it's at, bro. Bro, it's at Jackson with the Villa. Nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> but when they used to have to come to the London games, they used to have to, like, come in incognito, and I used to have to pick him up at the G- the thing and take him to, like, the other side of the airport. That nigga wore his mask? Like, he wore the costume? Nah, he ain't wore the mask. All day. He was cool as fuck. Uh, he, was, he was black? No, it's a white dude. It's, uh-huh. a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Yakubian, man. Yeah. I remember one time I was in the car. I had picked him, bro. I picked him up, like, four years in a row. I remember one time we was the best time was the one when we had when we went to the AFC championship. We was actually winning, so he was kind of he had a good spirit. So <laughs> most of the time he was in a bad spirit because he had to just fly from London and we, yeah. we was ass. But um, I remember one time. So anytime I was in a van, bro, you you can't if you picking somebody up, you got to be use your brain. Like, hey, don't be playing like hip hop music and right, all that right. shit and all that. Yeah. So I usually listen to nigga, the neutral thing is R and B. So we were bumping Gladys Knight, and he was like, "Hey man, can you put that on ninety three point 3? I'm like, "Okay, well, you got it, big dog." That nigga say they playing Cardi B ten times. <laughs> I want to hear that shit. <laughs> I'm like, "All right, bro, we play. We listen to Little Baby, bro." I'm like, "All right, we got it, bro." He said, "Yeah, he said, let's put that ninety three point three on." I said, "I got you, Jackson Deville, but I think they got he was waiting for a shout out, bro." On that radio, yeah, bro, that's man. probably what was. That's probably yeah. what it was, bro. Because yeah. they wasn't about to shut him out on one hundred and one point five. Yeah, he was waiting on that shout out. Uh, My boy Jack, this Easy E man, that boy Jackson Deville man, he was shaking his ass off. Right All right, that's, <laughs> that's what Jackson Deville do. That's great. Jackson, the brother, the nigga in the Jaguar costume, was shaking his, <laughs> gyrating his ass. <laughs> 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 That would be the most insane <laughs> radio edit on earth. That boy was rich. Shout out to Shout Jackson. Out Jackson. He was shaking his ass out there, boy. He was <laughs> Call up to the station and tell us if y'all seen him getting it. <laughs> you seen him throwing that ass. That's all Jackson DeVille was doing, bro. He was just... <laughs> And Brug was getting paid, but they they fired him, and I think they got a new guy. And I think they probably did like a pay cut or something like that. Yeah, which is yeah. We gonna... He said, "Bro, you almost shake your ass." Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the other he got. I don't know if you remember it, but he kind of got crazy. he kind of got canceled because we was playing. Um, <laughs> what he? I think we was playing like the the Steelers or something like that. Right, and he had the terrible towel. And he said like the terrible towel may contain Ebola or some shit like that. 
And like he, it was over for him after that. I got oh, pulled out. It said something, bro. And they were like, bro, it's kind of insensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. But I was like, bro, y'all quarterback is a rapist, bro. So yeah, we can say whatever the fuck. <laughs> we say anything about y'all towels, nigga. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hold on, let me say exactly what he said. Oh yeah, Tremaine said, "Get a well, your boy Roy Jones Jr." He was. How you feel about him commentating? Between him, Roy Jones should not be commentating. Yeah, right, I'm definitely in agreement. Um, Roy Jones, like it's a lot of people in Pensacola that can barely enunciate. Yeah, and he said that, not me, y'all. No, 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 no. I'm being honest. Like, like, hey, a lot of people barely enunciate their words. I'm not saying they can't, but it's like how they talk. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm not a huge fan of him uh, commentating because he 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 talks like he's in the neighborhood. He mm-hmm. don't talk like he's on t- on national television. It Roy Jones Jr. That's exactly yeah, I mean. this Roy Jones. What, what he got to do is, <clears throat> you know, if you really think about it, he he he's not ducking the punches. <laughs> and between him and Rosie Perez, it's only like only like three sentences, yeah, complete bro. sentences happening. I'd be like, come on, man. No, nah, that's it, yeah, man. I ain't gonna front, bro. I missed. I, I heard the commentary because I heard people was comment like complaining about it. Yeah, but I fell asleep during that Boston match. Yeah. It was like 11 o'clock. I said, I'm about to take about an hour nap or so. And I woke up. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. I was like, yeah, I woke up and the shit was like over. So I was like, all right. I did like they had just announced um, the winner type shit. Mm. I went back and watched it. I was like, yeah, I'm glad I slept through this. <laughs> yeah, then I heard the Netflix stream was cooked. So Yeah. I mean, honestly, that whole presentation was terrible to me. I feel like like I salute what Netflix is doing in the sense like Netflix is really trying to find a way to take over every aspect of entertainment. Like yeah. televised entertainment, they're trying to find a way to take over everything. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with a like cable channel. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey man, Netflix, I'm gonna say this, man. Y'all a hey, December twenty fifth, Christmas Day. Y'all supposed to have Beyonce doing the halftime show for that for that uh, Texas game. If y'all fuck that shit, they up, not they not gonna fuck that up. Though. I was like, if y'all fuck that up, them women gonna get y'all the fuck out of See, here. See, I think this. I think it's one of those things to where this we've seen this happen before with Netflix. Like they've had huge ass productions that they've dumped money into, yeah. and then they stop. You know what I'm saying? They stop <laughs> yeah. putting money into it. Uh, they've had big productions to where it was like, okay, we can continue this, but it doesn't really like make sense to continue. You know what I mean? Yeah. Early on, they got kinks they got to work out. I think they're trying to get into the 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 big um, boxing yeah. realm, right? Yeah, but. Today, what Jake Paul is doing is making boxing relevant for streamers. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And now you can, you can, and it's not even about boxing per se. Netflix wanted a piece of that because now you can get into that with anything. Hey, we're going to have, if Amp came to them and said, we're going to have the biggest kickball tournament, but we need that same production, you know, put together. Mm. Hey, go for it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if you knew it, but they're getting um Monday Night Raw. Oh, every they, Monday. There so you go. They got to tighten up. So I think this um I salute it, but it's also one of those things to where I don't necessarily agree with them being involved in everything. You know what I mean? I think that um there probably should have been partnerships in place to where they're just a namesake yeah. and they still are able to reap those kind of benefits. But I, me personally, I don't mind it because at the end of the day, I don't really, I think Netflix got the worst. Ne- actually, never mind. They may have like the second worst, like, uh, categories of movie, like, uh, movies on there and whatnot. Like well, the catalog, I can give you that, but I think that they're getting away from, because if you notice, they're not really putting the big name movies on there anymore, but they're putting great original productions together. You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to be 
what HBO has been for us for so long. Yeah, because I watch a lot of, uh, I be trying to watch Netflix. I'm like, bro, I end up watching like Wayne's Brothers and like Martin and shit like that. Mm-hmm. By the time I get done flipping through everything. So it's like, if they get more live stuff, then I'll be like, all right, I'm part of, I'll be with that because I feel like we watching live on too many things anyway. It's like, if everybody, if one place get everything, then like, all right, we'll tap in and for like, if all I got to look through is like, let's say we just, let's say Peacock and Netflix get everything. Like, all right, then I don't need these other apps. Right, right. And Netflix is still affordable. Yeah, I don't need, uh, yeah, I don't play for Netflix. TV. You got T-Mobile, Netflix free. It's like different mm-hmm. ways to get like get through different shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, if everything was on one app, then yeah, I ain't got to have a f- 50 different apps. Right. Yeah. I ain't got to have, uh, what's that, Amazon that shit, nigga, got your Amazon for uh to watch the NFL games on Christmas. Yep. Yeah. And I don't know how we, I don't know how that's gonna work because I don't know about other niggas, but I spent Christmas at my grandma house and my grandma ain't. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, she she ain't with the technology, so I'm gonna be missing those NFL games. <laughs> you gonna be on your phone in the corner somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time neck hurting like damn, like, damn I wish going crazy. <laughs> right right I wish I could watch this another way <laughs> <laughs> also Tremaine asked what's the uh, hardest lyrical performance I'm gonna go with uh, Jib's chain hang low do your chain hang low he went, he went insane with that man do it wobble to the flow can, can you, you tie it in, in a knot? knot can you tie it in a bow bruh he he, he, can he you went chain hang Low. He actually took that song from somebody, if I'm not mistaken. Because I heard that song like a year or two before it came Man, out. Man, that nigga stole. Whoever that is, they stole from Jibs, bro. Jibs coming with that shit, bro. Okay. But um, <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm say I respect it. Um, that's a good one, for sure. He he, he went ballistic. Um, hmm. Don't steal mine, bro. Come up with your own. Oh, bro. If I had to come like go in comparison... Who was fucking with Soldier Boy when that nigga hopped up out the bed? Oh, hopped up out the bed, turn my swag on. The nigga hopped up out the bed and cut his sw- like you got to turn turn it off before you go to bed. <coughs> That's how much swag the nigga had. The nigga said, "Siri, cut my swag off." <laughs> <laughs> you know he was the first nigga with an iPhone, right? Alexa, yeah, that nigga was the first one everywhere, everything, bro. Yeah, bro. You ever seen that that video when he was in Dubai? He was like, I got I got the Louis shoes dirty. Look at that camel stretch his neck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't seen that. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> bro, that nigga soldier boy, bro. He, he was the uh, first one of everything. Yeah. Nigga yeah. had he had performed at uh SeaWorld with Bow Wow the other day. Uh not the other day, it was like a couple months ago. And he was like first rapper to perform at SeaWorld. And I was like, bro, you wasn't the first rapper. I was like, I ain't even got to look at it, but I was just know you wasn't the first rapper performing at SeaWorld. I'm pretty sure, like, Mims is somebody performed at SeaWorld. Mims C- is funny. I'm pretty sure Kaya performed at SeaWorld or something like that, bro. We know Kaya ain't performed at SeaWorld. You World, don't know bro. where Kaya performed, bro. In the middle of that mall, she just <clears throat> did her last little walkthrough. I'm pretty sure. Nigga, I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jibs did a... Perform that Sea World, bro. Like, yeah, that nigga, you're not the first rapper. I ain't got to look it up. That nigga just, said, my chain water. Put me on, <laughs> put me on stage. Them niggas did, um, him and Bow did Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you was at the Sea, first of all, I was like, how many, I was like, is you niggas friends or not? Bruh. I feel like Bow Wow Soldier Boy beef every other day. Like, nigga, is y'all friends or what, nigga? They, uh, they, uh, wrestlers, bro. They got a storyline. Oh, like, bro, after Soldier Boy made that song, talking about fuck Bow Wow. Yeah, I would have never been friends with that nigga ever after, again, bro. After I seen that nigga Bow Wow was in that <laughs> room with four niggas behind him, man, they let him talk tough for three, four minutes. Yeah. I would have been like, yeah, nah, we we ain't good because you got some fuck niggas around you and you a hoe. Yeah, yeah, nigga, he's like Bow Wow, your Lambo doors don't even go up. Come on. They had me like, damn, that sound poor, nigga. And I was driving a fucking <laughs> Mazda 66. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Lambo doors don't go up, bro. They just open to the side. Like, that sounds poor to me. I mean, Bow Wow is taking so many L's, I wouldn't want to be his friend no way. Hey, man. I if would. I was at that level. 
Oh yeah, you could tell the nigga was paying. They were he was paying them niggas bills, bro. I think one of them niggas stole from him. Uh, uh, coincidentally, his brother name was Anthony that stole from him. That's crazy. Yeah, man. He put Let in me watch my pockets. <laughs> put in a bear. Yeah, put your put them car keys in you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You seen that one? I think I put it in the Discord. Did you see that video of um uh, well speaking of Discord, man, I'll get back to what I was saying. Y'all niggas was showing y'all ass in that Discord the other day with that damn Kendrick Lamar album came out. Oh my bro, god. It was bro. a and I, I had to I had to <laughs> jump in and derail the shit just so that uh <laughs> I was listening to the album, so I wasn't on the Discord, bro. <laughs> mother- I sent an alert. <laughs> Have y'all niggas looked at the Discord? <laughs> It was a full out war <laughs> in the Discord when the Kendrick Lamar album came out. It was the Drake fans, and then it was the 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 Kendrick fans, and then it was some niggas that just in the middle that wanted troll. You had Sam going crazy. Yeah. I don't even think he listened to either one of the motherfuckers. Sam he, was trolling just just to troll. You had Nico <laughs> crashing out. You had I think it's Jamal. Yeah, other motherfuckers. I thought niggas was about to ask for address in Discord. Yeah, 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 I thought yeah. it was getting it was getting chippy. Yeah. Yeah. I had to come in there with the uh, the Parks and Recreation meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, yeah, y'all niggas tripping. It was going crazy in the Discord. Yeah, bro. It's not it's not that serious, man. It's, it's music at the end of the day. I'm a fan of both niggas. Even though we're going to get into it, this nigga Drake, bro. Drake is it might be quiet for you, my brother. But, uh, it might be. That's a wrap for you, nigga. Let's talk about them lawsuits. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. We gotta cut one more fuck niggas. Oh <laughs> everybody a fuck nigga today. <laughs> this nigga <is> mean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more voicemail and it's and it's from your homie. Uh oh. And nigga said, uh oh. It's about Who to be got? it's about to be another kind of uh oh. Who we got? I think this is Oh. Nigga said oh. <laughs> All right, so brace yourself. I did not listen to this, so I don't know what this nigga. Got I don't want to. I don't want to co-sign that this is my homeboy until I hear it. <laughs> hey man, good. you great people, dog. But I, I, I be like, damn, this my nigga here, and then he jump in the Discord and post the big ass whoa know, pause, extremity. Pause, pause. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into it. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy. <laughs> I don't know. Bleep this out. Yeah. Just had a bleep. But yeah, it's me, the real CF. And I ain't talking about close friends. The real, you know, CF. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you're a fan of the show, then you know, you know this voice and you know what I stand for. I stand on business. I stand on family business at that. So it's that time of the year, and I don't know why, but around this time of the year, I be want to fuck the shit out of my cousins. Oh, auntie. my God. I don't know. Maybe it's the turtlenecks. Maybe it's the, the the perfume that they be wearing. They be putting on that, that Tom Ford, Lost Cherry, all that shit. He's saying know, they. Man. But, yeah, <laughs> man. got a hit list of his cousins. I, I don't know, man. I just turned into, like, a werewolf or some shit, bro. I just turned into the Credible Hulk, bro. Like, it be on some. Some Dr. Jackal Hyde type shit. I turned to a whole different type of person. Bro, you know, long? the holidays come. But I got two questions. <laughs> One first question is, am I out of... Don't say you want to fuck your cousin then tell when you got two questions. <laughs> Cause like, bro, I that this was the part. cause you the only one that feel that nigga said, "Hey man, I got a confession, bro. I really, really want to fuck my cousin." But no, no, <laughs> no. He said that the first time. This nigga called in and said, "Y'all know what time it is, nigga. I stand on business, nigga. Family business. I'm fucking my cousin business, nigga. This <laughs> shit." It that, nigga, your business. that nigga said this the time of year where I really want to fuck my cousin. Man, bro. my blood get to going, nigga. <laughs> when it get cold outside, my blood warm up, nigga. That nigga said it's the turtlenecks. Bruh. Why the turtlenecks, bro? I actually, I would not understand. I hate but, to go to his family reunion, <laughs> bro. That nigga will pull you to the side and be like, you see that one? Yeah. That one? Then we got her? Like, nigga. I'd be like, bro, you are a fucking freak. <laughs> I'm going to call the police <laughs> before we even say grace. Yeah, bro. That's that's crazy, bro. Stop it, dog. 
I'm gonna hear you. I'm gonna hear. We might need to bleep that whole beginning out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually gonna bleep your name out when I when I edit this. <laughs> I don't want nobody to know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said it. If you yeah, I gotta before, beep that. I gotta beep that out too. That bro. nigga it's... said, "You know who I am." <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cousin fucker. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get into the, let's get into his question, bro. Hopefully they they somewhat sane. Thank you. For blocking all my cousins who either got pregnant or in relationships, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's no point of us talking, you know? There's no point of us, like, really being family for real, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, Come you on. knew I wanted to fuck you, and you got pregnant, and then you got in a relationship. So I feel disrespected, you know what I mean? So I blocked all the cousins who either had babies this year, got pregnant, or got into relationships because I feel like, you know, I got to treat you like, like, you know, like the bitches off the street. I thought he was done, bro. We're not family no more. And then two, to the women who want to fuck their cousins, they got cousins. I know y'all do. I know y'all do. I know it's the women that want to fuck y'all got cousins. This whole is about. How do y'all shoot y'all shot? You know what I mean? Like, a nigga like me, I'm going to put all my bad cousins and the close friends. I'm just going to po- post explicit shit. And if they be like, I'm going to tell your mama, that's how I know I got them. Oh you know what I mean? Like, that's how I know I got them. What not only the did you fuck? acknowledge the shit, now you low-key trying to, like, troll and flirt with me and shit. Oh so, you know what I'm saying? God, bro. I'm not going to say what type of explicit shit, you know what I mean? But, hey, <laughs> don't, hey, it's, it's effective. So how do the women shoot their shot to their guy cousins? Do you just, like, put extra, you know what I'm saying, extra yams on his plate? Do you kind of, like, you know, rub his back, laugh at all his jokes at the dinner table? Do y'all go, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all go, go do that little... Take that little walk outside Granny House. You know what I mean? Do you just flash them? Like, how do y'all shoot y'all flash shots? Do y'all him. got cousins? Oh my and we're not talking man. about first cousins. You know what I mean? We talk about second cousins. We're talking about the cousins, like, further down the lineage. You know what I'm saying? Like, family, friends type shit. But, yeah, that's my question. Those are my two questions. And, you know what I mean? I'm sticking with it, bro. I'm, we fucking cousins all 2025. You feel oh me? God, Don't be ashamed. But, yeah, no, we man. not. Show, man. <laughs> We're not fucking cousins all 2025. Nigga said we, bro. Imagine telling him you got a cousin, bro. Yeah. That nigga, oh, you be, know. Like, that nigga be like, you fucked her yet? <laughs> <laughs> What's the rules on that, though? <laughs> what you mean? Like, how many... <laughs> What you, bro? Don't I'm not, even don't, I'm don't not try and get the don't, don't don't try and analyze it. So there's some. Logic I ain't to saying, it. but I'm just saying like, what's the rule? Nigga that? said, it, can I fuck my fifth cousin? I yeah. mean, she <laughs> twice removed. All right, man. So hopefully my cousin now. I think he used to listen to the podcast. I don't know. If, I ain't gonna say which one. He gonna know who it is, but I ain't gonna say a name. On one of my sides of my family, it's some. It's they. they we call them cousins. But they kind of like I took it in as like mm. they ain't like blood, blood. Mm. And bro was trying to smash one of them, and I was like, it was all like they technically not our cousins, but it's like they were like raised as our cousins, so it's just like it's still weird, bro. Mm. <laughs> Nigga just said, mm. "See, I was the voice of reason. I was like, you shouldn't do that, man." And if How, I if I tell you it, where he I'll tell you where he's from, you be like, oh, that makes sense. They would do some shit like that in, uh, okay. in that city. Mm, mm. Yeah. It's a Florida city? I don't know no, no cities in Florida. That's on You that. know where I be saying where my family's yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you okay, think okay, about okay, it, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where exactly. they, okay. they might okay. be doing shit. <laughs> ain't nothing. Nah, that, it, that, that, that it ain't nothing it, else to it, do. It ain't nothing else in that city to do but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you might Bro, that's hilarious. There is but so many people in that city, so you That's crazy. <laughs> Your cousin, Nigga said, might, your, cousin your cousin might, might you know, get tagged. Your cousin might be on your hit list. That's insane. Um, I'm not answering any of Tyler Davis' yeah. questions. He actually. said woman also, so it's like... Yeah, we're not women. We can't answer that. Uh, Ladies, a, we need you to call in and, and offer a voice of reason man, for this. Man, ain't no women fucking their cousins. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying they need to speak on why that's a disturbing issue. Matter of fact, Talladega Nights, have one of your cousins call in and okay. tell us why she would fuck. <laughs> All right, even better. 
Women, 424-26-REOP, 424-260-REOP. Call in. You ain't got to say your name. You can be anonymous. Let us know have one of your cousins ever tried to shoot a shot at you. Damn. That's a great question. Let us know if one of your cousins ever tried to shoot a shot at you and leave that voicemail. Because that had to have happened. That's a great question. I wouldn't... Man... Cause it's some sick, it's some sick niggas out here. Oh well, I know one. Obviously, you, well you got one. <laughs> they were like, hey, I got a cousin in Atlanta. He always tried to shoot his shot at me. He got a jeep. <laughs> <laughs> he got six four. He got a jeep. And he got big earrings. <laughs> he can't stop shooting his shot at me. Oh, that's hilarious. Like, oh. He got a part two, man. I'm fucking. Let's play it, man. Right. I don't know I'm what scared. else he could possibly want. Big shout out to Devin. Big shout out to Ant Man. Like I said, man, y'all been going strong like a granny thong, man. Hey, y'all doing y'all thingy thing. Um, yeah, man. So I got three people. I gotta, you know, put on nah, four. Yeah, you no, know, it's fuck say, Sam man. forever and cold, always. Dude. Even though that nigga live like, hey, nigga, you be coming to Marietta and shit, nigga, like. Like, I won't intercept your ass, nigga. I'll shoot the fuck out your, your fucking refugee uh, Range Rover, nigga. You know what I'm talking about, Sam. And then, Bank, bro, I can't, I can't, I want to be your friend, bro. Like, I want to, I really do want to be your friend so I can backdoor the fuck out you, bro. Like, like, I'm going I'm going to throw you in a tomb, nigga. I'm going to throw you in a tomb full of fucking... Pork, nigga. I don't, to be honest, I don't even know what your religion is, dog. Like, I don't know if you hotel. I don't. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. Banks is an enigma, dog. Banks is an enigma. And Reggie, nigga. <laughs> Reggie, nigga. I don't know what to say about you, dog. You been quiet, bro. You know what I'm saying? I let you slide last time. You sneak this me. I let that shit slide, but <laughs> hey, fuck it. Um, damn. It was one more person I had to I had on my. Oh yeah. Hey, shout out to Cell uh, Cell Billy. What the fuck his name is? Fuck the Kansas City Chiefs, nigga. Yeah, we smoking on them niggas. Mm. But yeah, I just had to, you know, end that end that with like some type of violence. You know what I mean? But all right, man, y'all boys be easy. Hey, man, don't be believing Banks, bro. I seen Banks eat a baconator, bro. Don't don't listen, <laughs> don't listen to that nigga with that pork talk, bro. I want to be honest, dog. I don't know how pork niggas... Pork talk is hilarious. I don't know how bro. niggas don't eat pork, bro. Pork is delicious, Pork so bro. fucking good, bro. Good ass <laughs> slice of bacon. Like, but nigga, you can eat... chop, nigga. Boy, boy, don't get me started. Hey, man, salute, bro. I love the contra- contributions that you did, Malcolm X. But a nigga like me eating a pork chop, bro. Oh, bro. I'm eating about five pork chops. <laughs> no sides, nigga. Just pork, nigga. A fried pork chop on that house bread is getting ate, bro. Bro, bro. I fried them bitches hard as fuck, too. And I know I'm probably going to clip this, and I know some of y'all niggas going to be like, man, uh, this fat ass nigga, I know he'll eat pork. I done seen some of you Muslim niggas. I done seen some of you vegetarian. You niggas be just as big as me. Talking about, All right, come on, bro. <laughs> nigga, talking about, I'm a vegetarian. All right, bro, fuck it. Now, you eat a lot of vegetables, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Like, bro, you're lying, bro. You eat vegetables, but you put mayonnaise on the motherfucker, bro. Yeah. Tell me some. I'm a I'm a pescatarian, nigga. Mm-hmm. You you fry that bit. You fry that motherfucker up. Fry that shit in lard, nigga. I'm gonna spit my water. Out, bro. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, of course, nigga. But anyway, that's all the voicemails. Once again, send those in four two four two six zero R E O P four two four. 260-R-A-O-P. Some of you niggas in the Discord, y'all wanted my opinion. Y'all know I'm OVO. OVO amp. And um, I'm going I'm to play both sides, man. So this nigga Drake, man, he 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 did some Karen <laughs> shit. We all know Drake is, uh, he's half Yakubian. He's, he's. He's something. Yeah. He's, he's also Canadian. A lot of Yakubian. <laughs> he's been said on record. Shout out homegirl, Portia. She's been on this podcast numerous times, and she said Canadian niggas are corny. Hmm. Yeah. I believe her. Yeah. Not to put her on blast, she does do a lot of dating outside of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that That's said, yeah. take her word for it. Yeah, for She sure. said Canadian niggas are corny as fuck on wax on this podcast several times. 
And I do agree, Canadian niggas is kind of corny. Kind of lame. From what I've seen. Yeah. I like Drake music. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. You know I'm about to say some bullshit. Yeah. So Drake, so Drake, man, he came with a lawsuit yesterday, man. I ain't going to front. I, I kind of agree with this lawsuit right here. Damn. I agree this with, ain't the take I was expecting. I agree with this first one, man. All right. Go ahead. <coughs> Let's expound. All right. Suing niggas is crazy. Right. Suing shouldn't be in rap beast, but. All right. So this first one to say Drake is taking legal action against Universal Music Group and Spotify legend. They conspired to articulately inflate the popularity of Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. All right, bro. I'm going to be honest, dog. I do. F- Not Like Us was a good record, but you can tell they did some finessing to make that record. Like, they was forcing us to like listen to that record. Do you think so? I, I think so. All right. So Spotify. I don't have Spotify premium, but I listen to my podcast on Spotify. It has it on several occasions. I've been listening to a podcast on Spotify, not a song, mm-hmm. a podcast, and it, the next thing it flipped to was Not Like Us, mm-hmm. and it played the full version. You know, on premium, they don't play the full version of a song. They play a commercial in between. Bro, they went from a podcast to Not Like Us. That's not supposed to happen. A couple of times, I went on, I look at different like podcast playlists. I saw Not Like Us on there. It was a podcast. I mean, it was a, a playlist on the main page, and it had Not Like Us 20 times in the playlist, and it was on our main Spotify page. I am not making this up. I've seen tweets from people. They said they were listening to fucking Enrique Iglesias. Something they ain't got nothing to do with hip hop. Mm-hmm. Niggas said he was listening to Daddy Yankee. Mm-hmm. Not Like Us played next. Spotify definitely put some shit in there to like finesse the plays on that song. Here's my here's my take. Okay. Arguably one of the most enjoyable songs of the year. But why not do that for others? Cuz I will say this. Others are not all right in the in the in the midst of the biggest beef not only why ain't here Shabuzi song? Why ain't you hear that Shabuzi? Why is Shabuzi song they play next to the podcast? What do you what do you what, what do you I'm asking? saying I'm saying why that that never happened. This is arguably again one of the most enjoyable records <laughs> of the year, right? <clears throat> I get what you're saying. Hold on. All right. In the heat of one of the biggest rap battles, right? Okay. It's a money play every which way. If I put this on, anyone that enjoys music is liable to at least listen to this record, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's aggravating as fuck. Is it any different than when YouTube put their whole album on niggas Apple Music? Is it any different than Drake securing streaming deals? Yeah, I feel like that's different. See, see... I what Drake did, I could understand it. This like him suing motherfuckers because at the end of the day, this is a song calling him a a, a, P, a yeah, PDF yeah, yeah, file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> which cut with goes to the, the lawsuit that came out today. I'm I'm saying this because I feel like Drake is the I feel like he's putting out the right message, wrong messenger because nigga they nigga it's like ads on Spotify or whatever like oh it's a strict song for everything. And they just flash through like all kind of jay. They're like, oh, just, there's a bachata song for Drake. And they were, they were spamming the ads for him too. But I'm saying, I never heard a Drake song get played. And I'm listening to a podcast and it just go to a Drake song. That's never happened. But it again, did to, it did that to the Kendrick song. I right feel like now, was, the Kendrick song is one, like a revitalization. Think this. You were arguing hip hop is dead. I feel like... It, Kendrick has has like kind of shot life back into it twice now with Not Like Us and the the album dropping or <clears throat> mixtape whatever it's going to be. Yeah. In the sense that 
there's been such a moment of excitement in the world's biggest genre yeah. that is now being watered down to such a point that rap music is literally like damn near elevator music today. You know what I'm saying? So Kendrick is a money pull. Everybody is going to win by them playing a Kendrick record, which is why we're seeing as much push behind the support for Kendrick as 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 we are. He has only brought everyone else good fortune. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I put this record behind this podcast, yeah, you might listen to podcasts. You might stick around because this song is ex like you enjoy it. Why would you skip it? You got that one part you're waiting for, whatever the case. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Well, Even if you do skip it, nigga, the stream has already counted. The money's already been distrib distributed. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a small Cause, inconvenience that... Because you just forcefully made me listen to... And keep in mind, I like Not Like Us. I don't hate the song also. I'm just saying it's kind of... It's, I noticed it. Bro, I think that, again, it's the same thing. Like, Drake's song is spam. Drake's music, period, is spam. Okay, there, well... There's been several periods. If, <clears throat> if, if that's the argument, there have been several periods throughout Drake's uh, career to where three out of five songs on the radio were 90% Drake. I'm just saying, my nigga. That's why I said, right message, wrong messenger. He not the nigga that need to be saying this. I hate I'm you. just saying, I never heard a Drake song played in between the podcast. Like you said, you said Kendrick shot life into uh, rap. rap, which I used, I was against, but I can't say that no more after GNX when the nigga just put like a bunch of new West Coast niggas on. So I got to shut that shit up. I can't say that no more. Yeah, I was actually but, meaning to put that in the notes that uh, we need a retraction on that statement. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> nigga was like, man, Kendrick killed hip hop. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> hey, shit. That nigga killed it and brought it back. I said the beef killed hip hop. Nigga I don't said think Frankenstein. Kendrick <laughs> can't never kill hip hop. I just yeah. said that beef, like, nigga. Switching side, the fans killed him. Yeah. Up. Um, I'm just saying, like, nigga, why was there no other? He he shot some life into like, why was there no other songs played in between? I'm just saying, like, that song was breaking the norms of that app. It was doing stuff that are like, all right, bro, it's kind of weird, bro. But like, there's like, there's, why are you featuring a playlist with not like us twenty times? Every time something major happens in music, we get that <laughs> moment. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Drake signs a four hundred dollar Apple, you know, uh, uh, streaming deal or whatever, right? Yeah. And then next thing you know, he's got a radio station. Uh, every playlist that's that's involving music has him on it. All mm -hmm. kinds of shit, right? All yeah. of the same shit. Th th this shit has been happening for years. So every few years, we get that. Boom, one song or one artist that blows up out of no, like, not even to say out of nowhere, has this Lynn Sanity moment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Kendrick's got his turn. I got you. It, it was just a dude. 100%, because he's the quietest nigga. But I agree with that lawsuit that he was suing UMG and Spotify. He he did he kept it off Kendrick. He like yeah, yeah. he like Kendrick made the song, but y'all can't yeah y'all niggas was doing some weird shit. Like y'all could have stopped this from happening, and y'all kind of helped it. I'm supposed to be like the biggest artist on y'all, and that's but why that's I, where I don't think it's fair to say the label, especially because they're both under the same label. Essentially, yeah. they don't they I have no obligation to protect you. Yeah, you're going against another money maker who. If he dropped one more album, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kendrick has a tendency to go, what, three, four years at minimum without any music? Yeah. Realistically, if he dropped one one album in that time, if we got a new Kendrick album once every two years, mm. that nigga's pulling more than Drake. Yeah. That's, that's, that's guaranteed. That's guaranteed. When it comes to rap music, Kendrick is the biggest draw. Drake is considered that because of his features, the things he did for so many years to where it was like, let me be in your face, right? Yeah. I feel like Kendrick today 
is now building up PG Lang, and he's using this as one of the easiest ways to catapult not just capital, a new sound, like new opportunities, all kinds of shit. So I salute Kendrick in every regard. I understand why UMG and Spotify, even if they had a hand in, I understand why they would funnel everything into that record. As a as a as a business entity, that makes the most sense. This song that is calling a nigga a PDF file, which we've heard before, not 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 necessarily someone being called a pedophile. We've heard people be called slanderous words. You know. Yeah. Let me just say it like this: We've never heard a rap beef song become this popular because we thought what back to back. Was it back to back? Yeah, back to back. Yeah. We thought that was we thought that was something. Yeah, this smashes that. that. Yeah, yeah, they were playing that shit in the club. Yeah, and then yeah. not just a, let's go back to that <coughs> shit. They was running back to back five six times straight. Yeah, Drake had his time with that shit. Kendrick is getting it organically. I I feel like just being real. Mm. Even if Spotify positioned the record to be more more prevalent, more uh, visible, accessible, whatever the case, that's a business decision to say, hey, I'm trying to generate new opportunities, more income, uh, whatever. So if it's an argument of protecting assets, why would I not invest in one song that brings 10 podcast money? New artist opportunities because now that GNX is out, we have to use that as a, a again. They not like us catapults this opportunity for these new artists to have such a platform, right? Yeah. I don't know. I I I, I can't I can't respect the lawsuit, and I think it might just be because of the context, like you say. Wrong messenger, but um, in this context today, I can't I can't respect the lawsuit at all because Drake has already been a, a, a beneficiary of this same exact thing. Um, I think even right now, he's making strategic moves to recoup in the same ways he he once has. Behind the scenes, and that's why we're seeing so many people come out and saying, "Oh man, we had a misunderstanding," but I'm still good with him, or whatever mm -hmm. the case, you know. Yeah. Huh. And yeah. Well, let me not say I respect it; I just understand it. No, no, no. I get you. I get you. Yeah, because he uh, because at the end of the day, he's suing the establishment. He ain't suing like another black man, or he half he half black, but. <laughs> but Drake is again. I can't respect it at all, just because again. Drake has sat, Drake has been a part of malicious activity towards artists. He's yeah. watched um, artists be uh, at the at the at the tail end of that shit with mm -hmm. labels. Um, he's had opportunities to to assist smaller artists and give them huge opportunities. He's done none of that. Yeah, he's done right. none of that. What artist has made it to Drake's album <clears throat> uh, that we that 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 was like a unknown. Oh, uh, he put some of them UK niggas on. Like, what's the brand name? Gigs? He did, like, yeah, the, the UK niggas. What are we doing? Because, <laughs> I mean, Kendrick is putting on niggas from his neighborhood. Kendrick is putting on niggas from the community that he has <coughs> yeah. built years and years yeah. to represent. Drake ain't even doing it with niggas that are, that are like, popping in cultures he's stealing from. Yeah. He was doing it a little old, not necessarily. I know you asked the albums and whatnot. He was putting niggas on like when he was like doing like the OVO sound radio and all that on Apple. Like he was putting like new rappers on, like playing and shit. But one hundred percent. But that don't that that the, the hype of that really only lasted like six months to a year. Well, he ain't do it that long. He don't think, yeah, I don't yeah, think I was he gonna do say. it no more. Yeah. That shit. That shit. That was, that a, shit that died was out. a moment. OVO sound when he dropped the new one. And he was playing because I remember. I feel like that's how Kodak got. Even though I heard of Kodak because we live in Florida, mm -hmm. but. A lot of niggas was heard Kodak for the first time off OVO sound. Right. He was putting niggas on, but it's just like he ain't necessarily put like a lot of niggas on in like his actual music. So and that's why he that's why I feel like Kendrick did some of the stuff with like the 
uh, he dropped a, a squabble up in the gen, like the the gen X album, putting like niggas in his hood on and whatnot. And I'm I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to hear some of them Canadian niggas rap anyway. So I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not at all, honestly. Um, but I I also think uh, like we talked about off air. It's a it's a it's a thing of hey I do have roots so I'm going to continue to further that notion that you have no homebound you know what I'm saying the Canadian niggas that you have put on are all R and B for one for yeah. two uh, none of them really are riding for you in the same way that you you would anticipate you know what I'm saying yeah. every nigga around me is stepping you know what I'm saying so uh, I, <coughs> I'm gonna shut the I, 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 I agree I agree I agree. This uh this second one right here, now this is some ho shit. It's a Drake has launched a second legal action against UMG over Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us, accusing the music giant of defamation and claiming it could have halted the release of a song falsely accusing him of being a sex offender. Hey man, that just comes with you you was doing some weird shit, man. You was texting underage girls. You shouldn't be texting Millie Bobby Brown. You did some questionable things. I had the girls on stage, so it's no flat out evidence that you was out here smashing young girls, but you did some questionable things that niggas gotta bring up. That, and the sue? What you about to say? The easiest rebuttal to this is uh freedom of speech. Yeah. And if I didn't like the over like sonically, if I didn't like this song, yeah, I wouldn't release it. But sonically I like it. Mm-hmm. It's one of the best. It's 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 a um, polarizing song, mm-hmm. polarizing time. Why would I not put it up? Yeah, and then nigga Drake literally in one of them songs. I think it was was it the heart part six. Mm-hmm. Then he said he was giving out false information. He was feeding them information and mm-hmm. shit like that. It's yep. like, yep. nigga, with the Uchi Wally, they one might. What you was doing, nigga? Yep. At the end of the day, both you both you niggas could sue each other because both y'all niggas are lying because. Nigga Kendra said this nigga Drake had a, a fake daughter or whatnot. Low key, that it, y'all had went on the internet and y'all was harassing a little girl thinking that was Drake's daughter. And she was like an 11 year old girl and y'all was on her IG talking some old she Drake's daughter. Mm-hmm. And the girl had to lock her page up. Low key, that girl mom could sue whoever. Every one of y'all, yep. Yeah, yep. She, could, I mean, she, could, she can sue motherfuckers and she got a good case. I, um,. I I don't I don't I don't understand his approach to any of this because everything Kendrick has said about Drake is now starting to come out in ways to where it's like <clears throat> even if I'm a fan of you yeah. like your music I don't really want to hear anything new because now I'm not a fan of your character yeah, it's right. going to stain the way that I'm 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 taking in the 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 the, the songs yeah. Everything I've heard prior, I might have this nostalgic um, viewership towards, right? Mm -hmm. Because we're not talking about R. Kelly to where it's like, okay, we grew up with R. Kelly, but we wasn't in that age to where we could really like act on a lot of the R. Kelly shit. You know what I'm saying? 2007, I wasn't fucking R. Kelly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, Like, we were young niggas. I remember being, I didn't understand it when like you be in a barbershop and niggas passing around R. Kelly tape. Like, I didn't understand. I, exactly. didn't, I didn't fully grasp what's going on. Exactly. So today, you know what I'm saying, seeing things happen to where it's like, okay, I can remember when uh, it may not mean nothing to y'all. Yeah. Uh, what was that song called? Uh, the song with Forever. Em- Forever with Eminem and all of them. Yeah. I can remember when that shit dropped. Yeah. I can remember where I was at, like what what I had going on in that time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's like, okay, I can hold those things in some kind of regard, right? Mm. But this new shit that you come out with, I, I already had to overlook you being tough. Yeah. I already had to overlook you rapping like you are the biggest Mac and we see how you move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've already separated the artist and the and the art as mu- as far as I can. Yeah. Moving forward, shit. I just don't have to do with the art. Yeah, like niggas had to like nigga, you doing sus shit with young girls and all that shit. Yeah, like nigga, niggas done like damn, what more? He's like, this is crazy. Just you suing niggas, bro. You taking motherfuckers to court, bro. It's like nigga, I can't even. You can't even defend this shit no more. 
Drake has always been an interesting artist to me just because he's always stood on the I'm the best rapper shit, but he has so many handicaps throughout his career to where it's like, okay, I personally could never give him that. You know what I mean? One of the biggest stains to me is that you've never dropped a rap album. Now you're in the middle of a rap beef and you are clearly like unmatched, unprepared. You know, he he held his head high in such regard against, you know, I'm not taking away from Pusha T as a talent. Mm. Pusha T can rap his ass off, yeah. but you 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 kind of bested in an older Pusha T for one when we had already like been moved past Pusha at that point. Yeah. So your rap battle with him really wasn't even like necessary. Yeah. Um, Meek is not since he's been in the industry. Yeah. Never been considered that. Also, the uh, real quick about the the Pusha T, even though he kind of sort of did lose against Pusha T, he did have that one thing where people were like I do respect him because that beef was that beef was Pusha T and Lil Wayne, right? And Lil and he inherited the beef for his homie, so that was one of the things like okay, I respect him for taking the taking the L for his homie, but it's like this one right here, bro. You hit the B, you hit the Kendrick Lamar Beehive. And mad that you got stung and you mad that it didn't go your way. Yep. Yep. So, I don't know, bro. Soon shit is crazy, bro. We don't need to be that shit not hip hop, bro. Not that, at all. That's for the crack. The suing niggas talking some defamation of character. Even though it is it, it, yeah, it can be considered um if you if there's no flat out proof that you was messing with underage girls, then yeah. It's just like the speculation part. Then, yeah, I can understand where you'd be like, I want to clear my name, but like. Freedom of speech, bro. Freedom of speech. Yeah. There's enough public evidence for me to make a statement on this basis <clears throat> without fear of anything else, you know, without fear of any, uh, what is yeah. it, repercussion? Yeah. Because all Kendrick got to do is like, man, look at this. Exhibit A, Exhibit B, you texting young bitches and whatnot. I admit. I miss you and all of that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, come on, man. Even though Kendrick did fuck up saying bro had a bro had a daughter. Like I said, the, that girl can probably, that girl parent could definitely sue Kendrick for that. I ain't going to hold you. I don't know that the shit off the table. I don't, I, 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 I that one I just leave out out in the wind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if that's not his daughter, bro, she was getting harassed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that I can say is um <clears throat> if it turns out that he does have a daughter, even if it's not that woman and that child, you know what yeah. I'm saying? This will be one of the like most insane moments in hip hop. Yeah. Even though Kendrick didn't say, Oh, that's his daughter. Right. Uh, Bethany Ann 2222 right. and they went to her Twitter right. even though he didn't do that because the fans did that Yeah, but you gotta figure out what, what blog or something said it first then you could probably sue them and get a little something now that I think of it I don't think you could sue Kendrick because he just said he had yeah. a daughter Kendrick, Kendrick can't be like in no way shape or form sued for none of this music he's making yeah crazy it could all be guys under the <coughs> premise of entertainment bro to be honest, bro, this, this may sound some like some fuck shit, but Drake gonna win one. Of, he gonna win one of these cases. No, he's not. You don't think he's gonna win? I don't. Honestly. I think he gonna win that first one with the Spotify shit. I don't know. I don't know because again, he 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 like from what I saw in there, it was a um, a statement of them protecting him as one of the largest assets yeah. to the company. That would be argumentative at that point. Yeah. That's crazy. Because do I not have a bigger asset in the moment? We know how hip-hop is. Uh, Like music, period. Mm, Good point. Society, period. You could be the hottest thing in the world one minute. And if it came out that any of uh, Kendrick's allegations were true, uh, Drake is done. Hey, he's done. And even if he went into the lawsuits, he definitely gonna be done. Cause it's like, nigga, you had to do some caring shit to get get over on yeah. niggas. Like, yeah. yeah, it's it's a lose lose situation, bro. I think the nigga should just been just making music, man. He just make music, bro. Yeah, I think the nigga should have bowed out. Yeah, the GNX might have been the 
the uh the, nail in the coffin. Yeah, nail in the coffin, man. Come I don't man. know. I think he's still gonna try and fight on this, and I think that um, cause I mean, you just seen him on stream talking about uh fairy tales won't do it. I'm still here, mind, body, soul, and all of that shit. See, that's even that's corny, bro. Yeah, yeah it's wild corny. Wow. But I think it's one of those things to where he's 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 trying to show he. They went on stream with a white man, like bro. You 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 proving our point, bro. I don't. It's, it's so many black streamers that's from Canada that you could. Nigga, you could have went on agent stream. Agent from Canada, go on his stream. You went on a white man stream. So I'm, I'm, I'm repping Toronto. Like nigga, you could have went on all kind of people's streams. Mm -hmm. Like you ain't gotta go on Casa not it's other streamers, but like it's it's black Canadian. Again, streamers. you could have put on put on anybody at that point. You could have created a moment. Yeah, exactly, bro. He's going on a white man stream. Like, all right, bro, that's corny. I'm just gonna say this real quick, man. Whoever beating up Jay Leno, bro, stop it, bro. He an old man, bro. They yeah. beating. And I, Jay Leno, you didn't fall off a fucking hill, bro. Somebody beating your ass, bro. Them fist marks on your face, bro. Who you think beating Jay Leno ass? Boy, them feet marks. <laughs> nigga had on a pair of Timberlands and kicked his What ass. on earth happened to Jay Leno? Look at, oh, your poor face. Look at, look at my eye. Look oh, my, my gosh. Bro. Jay Leno is all bruised up. Even show that? The left yeah. side of his face is black and blue. His eye is swollen <coughs> shut. And look at his injured wrist. It broke my wrist. Lost my the nail on the finger. And then I'm all, I'm all black and blue. The comedian says he fell down a 60-foot hill. And I said, well, the hill doesn't look that steep. Let me take a down. And then I. You rolled down a hill? Oh, that's not true. No, that's true. Jay Leno says he was staying at a Hampton Inn about 30 miles outside of Pittsburgh on Saturday night when he wanted to have dinner at a local restaurant before his show. Stop it right there, man. Man, Jay Leno getting extorted. <laughs> yeah, Jay Leno. I think Jay Leno put in a bad parlay. And yeah. They, they, yeah, one of them Italians, they beating his ass on the mob bosses. Bro, because they said he didn't even go to the hospital. The nigga, uh, well, if he went to the hospital, he came right out. That nigga performed that same night. Yeah. And like two hours later. Also, also, Jay Leno, he worth $600 million, bro. He not staying at no Hampton Inn. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro got too much bread, bro. You not staying at a Hampton Inn, yeah. bro. You worth that much money, bro. You staying at a... Something exquisite with no cliffs and shit like that. Yeah, man. for real. Man, somebody hit that nigga with the high you can. He ain't paid that. Uh, somebody recently ain't paid. Oh yeah, Bruno Mars. I think Bruno Mars was owing some people. For real. Yeah, he owed like the he owed like someone crazy man to like some Vegas motherfuckers in Vegas because he got a Vegas residency and they said mm. he got like a high gambling debt. Mm. So yeah, I don't know. If, nah, that's crazy. I don't Can't know. sing your way out of this one, but <laughs> I don't know if he old. He with the same motherfucker, but whoever that is, hey man, y'all need to leave them alone because they out there beating ass out there, bro. They they they. Uh, what Kendrick Lamar said, whooping feet. Mm -hmm. They whoop Jalen. Man, if you if you had a, a bet with an old motherfucker, would you beat their ass or you just give him some clemency? Nah, like Jay Leno. Age. Yeah, let's say you you put up a bet with Jay Leno. Jay Leno owe you two million. He like. Oh, Two think... mil, I'm beating the shit yeah. out of Jay Leno, bro. He's like, I'm Joe, I don't think I want to pay you today. Two hundred, I'll overlook. Like, I'll be like, all right, you old nigga. He's like, I just, he's like, I'll give I'm you using money your week. name till I get a band or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna use Jay Leno? Is Jay Leno even still on TV? I'm gonna be like, pull up to the crib. Jay Leno here is a ten dollar admission. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, bro, give me, cause you know Jay Leno got a shitload of cars. I'm gonna be like, give me five of them cars. Bruh, I, he wouldn't have no cars if he owed me bread, especially two million, nigga. Like, nigga, what are we talking about? Nigga say he beating Jalen on ass, bro. That's bruh, crazy. Bro. I would beat the fuck out of. They was polite. <laughs> I can't beat it, bro. Even though I would beat the shit out of Jalen. Like, I'd be posing with that nigga <laughs> and posting pictures in the group chat. Like, look at this, y'all. I beat this nigga ass. Nigga gonna do Jalen on how uh the baby did uh Cam Cohart? Yeah, straight up. I just Straight beat him. I just knocked the nigga out. Pull your pants up, nigga. <laughs> Pull your pants up, Jay Leno. Just knock a nigga out. Yeah, bro, you can't cam cohort Jay Leno, bro. Bro, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna knock that nigga out and drag him by his feet, bro. All right, man, come on, man. <laughs> drag him by his feet. Oh, I'm gonna be like, look, guys. <laughs> All right, bro. You can't do that to the old Dread man. that nigga in the room. That's crazy. I know he did that fucked up shit to uh, Conan O'Brien back in the day. I think that might be Conan. Damn, what happened? 
Oh, y'all remember when he said he not doing the Tonight Show no more and he left the Tonight Show? Yeah. And he gave it to Conan O'Brien and then he said he came back and said he wanted to do a oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Nigga did the show at the same time on like a different network or some shit, didn't it? Nah, he did his, he, they gave him another show and it was like earlier. It was like a, nigga, it was like a 10 o'clock show. Yeah, you, yeah. And I think, uh, I think the shit started at 11, the mm-hmm. Tonight Show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then he got... And then I'm not sure. Does, I'm assuming Jay Leno doing the Tonight Show still, or somebody? Oh, I think Jimmy Fallon doing yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like Conan, over, I think Conan like on fucking TBS or some shit. Yeah, bro. That was, he did some. He did some foul shit to Conan. Yeah. That's that karma, bro. You get, you get your ass beat, man. Oh well, bro. Don't do foul shit, man. <laughs> All right, real Learn niggas. Your lesson. Yep. Let's do real niggas a week. They need their ass beat and get up out of here, man. Hey, man. I got this man Kendrick Lamar, man. He just. Realest nigga of all time, bro. Yeah, realest nigga, man. He just gave us an amazing, whether it's an album or mixtape, it's amazing, bro. Realest nigga of all time, bro. All right, so next week on the uh, Billboard, he's going to have the top five spots. The album going to go number one. Uh, What's that? Squabble Up supposed to be number one. Uh, sorry, Shabuzi. I think Shabuzi been number one for the past 18 weeks. I'm sorry, my brother. Yeah, you got your time. <laughs> yeah, TV off, the rest of them. I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Whatever, bro. The ones that I like the most not going to be on the list. I like Dodger Blue. Mm. That's my favorite song. And Peekaboo, that's not no, That's not going to be a top five. They're my favorite songs. Um, James Harden, man. He just got number two. Most three-pointers. That's your favorite player? Nah, I just really. You just wanted to shout him out? Yeah, just shout him out, bro. You're, you're a real nigga, man. He got past uh, Ray Allen. And also, man, I feel like nobody cared that when he did this. Mm, yeah, no one cared. I mean, not to sound no kind of way. I think niggas have like not been the biggest fan of James Harden since like the Rockets. <laughs> hey man, I'm not really a James Harden fan, but I feel like that should be congratulated, man. I feel like that's a good accomplishment. It is until you think about how many teams he's tanked behind <laughs> that shit. Hey, he got them shots in, bro. He not gonna, he not gonna get close to Steph Curry shit because Steph Curry's out of there. Yeah, nigga got a thousand more shots over, there. <laughs> and Steph's still playing. But it just, it's, he, it's, it's cool. He got past Ray Allen, even though Ray Allen really didn't come become a three point shooter till like later. Later, on. yeah, yeah. You got Dame, yeah, Dame. That not, nigga used to get busy in the um in the paint though. Yeah, Dame not even close to um, Dame not even close to Ray Allen. Damn. But Dame, Dame really like more of a uh, <coughs> Dame is what I thought Russell Westbrook was gonna be. Nigga, why is Reggie Miller five? I don't get it. Clay Thompson kind of low too. You don't get it, nigga. You know how math work. Nigga, well, I expect I expect Reggie Miller. I feel like Reggie Miller one of the best three point shooters ever. They I wasn't thought, shooting that many threes back I then. I thought though. Bird and Reggie would be higher. They wasn't. They they weren't like. Huge three point shooters back then. Reggie Miller would talk cash shit to a nigga, shoot a couple threes, and then take a nigga to the rack. Yeah, I got you. He had like most. He had like he, his game was versatile, but I bro, just, his game was versatile as fuck. We don't talk about Reggie Miller enough. I think we let that voice, you know, fool us. <laughs> hey man, he be talking like a straight square. That's crazy, man. He do. He and he he got the uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it. I don't know why you would see it, but I've seen it. He got the he got a tattoo on the belly button. Oh, well, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. What are we talking about? Why would I see? It's this? like a dragon tail, and then he got a tramp stamp. Why did too. you see this? He was like on a beach, and they were like, "Look at this gay ass shit Dredge Miller did to his body." Man, that's insane. All right, man, go ahead and do your real niggas of the week, bro. I got to shout out this young nigga, man. I think he probably like twenty twenty one. Nigga got his head on straight, man. And I just like to see shit like this. He um I think he said he go to LSU and uh <coughs> they randomly stopped that nigga and asked him something. I can't even remember now, but quit smoking that dope. Nah, In ten years, nobody gonna say, uh, how many bitches you fuck? What did you do? Who did you impact? You can tell the statue of a man not by how much money or how much materialistic things he having. How many lives have you positive? Well, he's already starting off with some bullshit. Go ahead. Somebody need. He, he, I don't know who cut his hair, man, but they. <laughs> that shit disturbing to look at. 
Because I'm going to be honest, bro. Because in 10 years, we were like, bro, what college you went to? Man, I went to LSU. Like, you was out there with them bitches? <laughs> you know, one of the first things in my ass, you know, he was out there with the bitches. Boy, you had them hoes. <laughs> yeah, so he's already starting out with some bullshit, but I'm gonna let him continue, bro. Positive <laughs> impact. Keyword positive, because you impact lives every day. How many lives have you positive impact? How many people have you brought along with you? Because all that gold and diamonds and shit, all them hoes cannot go with you when you leave this earth. That don't ever let a motherfucker tell you that your life or the way you living is flawed just because they got a crack in their glasses. You exactly. Got some crack glasses, bro. Everything you gonna see gonna be fractured. So you gonna tell a motherfucker. And a lot of times we operate out of fear. Don't go dream big. Especially, expect. Don't go dream big. Hey, get you a solidified job. Don't go move out of state until you got five, six thousand dollars. If I would listen to that, bro, I wanna made it to LSU. I'm a first gen college student, bro. This shit kicking my ass. Seventy five thousand dollars all the time. I'm gonna make it though. It's good. I'm telling you, one of these days when these stocks gonna hit that I'm that I'm making myself learn. These stocks gonna hit. I'm gonna be able to pay my tuition in full, set it on count and cash, make them count and leave. Exactly. You hear me? Like, don't let people, it's different lenses. And all these different lenses are developed by different traumas, different upbringings. So don't never let nobody tell you that your, your route, your decisions is flawed because they might have a crack in their glasses. Boring. Oh, you green, bro. <laughs> you need your ass beat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call that young <clears throat> nigga to come beat your ass. <clears throat> Boy, I beat. Let me look at I'm going to tell that nigga, you, you spry. Let me, look at <laughs> these, let me look at these YNs real quick. Hey, bro. I'm beating all of you, nigga. I'm whooping all their feet. Especially the albino one with, the, know, with the orange dreads. I'm whooping his feet. That nigga might, uh, <coughs> yeah, he might, he might, he might get off on you, bro. The other one with the little braids that's to the front. He getting whooped. <laughs> he getting whooped. He, 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 he passive. He a pacifist. Yeah, only one that look like he might give me some issues is probably the nigga that's talking on the left. He, he might. He look like he I might, don't know. He uh, like he might got like a little sucker punch. In Albino him. probably got beat as a jit. Yeah. So, I mean, you might have your hands full with the both of them. Yeah, you're right. Because at the end of the day, he an albino nigga. Yeah, so. bro. Yeah, bro. You don't see too many albino nigga with orange dreads. Straight <laughs> he might, up. Yeah, he might. I might look like one of his bullies back in the day. You see, you gonna look like gum on the bottom of that nigga's shoe. That nigga gonna look at me. He gonna be like Fred, I'm bro. Like, that's Who? getting his <laughs> Fred, <laughs> hit me. Fred, that's hilarious. Stop fucking with me, Fred. I'm like, dog, who the fuck is Fred, bro? I ain't go to school with you. Uh, <laughs> nigga, kick me in the ass. I told you, stop fucking with me, Fred. Uh, the nigga that's talking in the blue, that nigga uh, probably gonna beat your ass just because <laughs> LSU beating his ass. I ain't gonna front. The nigga in the blue shirt look like he do like wall shit. Like he'll like run off a wall and like do a kick. He definitely do. I ain't fucking with that, bro. You got it. And he using and he got wired headphones. That nigga ain't you can't fuck with a nigga that's outside with wired headphones. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I ain't fucking with bro. This I don't shit. know what brought you to say you beat the ass. <laughs> this uh this uh motivation for seek, seek almighty. Bro, this nigga seek almighty sad. There's nothing to say seek sad almighty. almighty. <laughs> There's nothing to say seek. I might be a homeless like dude, but I just got caught fucking a nigga bitch in they car. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm about to send that to Seek Almighty right now, and let's see if he responds by turning this episode over with. Hey. <laughs> the nigga said, I might be a homeless dude, but I just got caught fucking a nigga bitch in they car. Yeah. Let's see if Seek Almighty is going to respond by the time we get done, and let's see if he's going to take that motivation Positive to positively, yeah, he gonna be like, "What you think she gonna say?" Nah, that nigga gonna sit in that bar and drink milk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, she hit me up, bro. Talking about some man, I need you to help. Me. He's like, I need you to help me with this. I sent that shit in the group chat. I yeah, was like, I bro, I don't that. know who that is, nigga. <laughs> All right, leave know. me alone, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, <laughs> shoot <laughs> your shot. <laughs> Nigga talking some caramel clutch. I'm like, bro, I don't watch porn as much as you. I don't know who these bitches is, nigga. Shoot oh. your, I would have been like, shoot your shot or shoot yourself, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> also, man, I dropped a uh, classic last week with Misty Stone, man. Tap into that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely tap in. Yeah. Uh, Misty Stone, a legend in the game. Yeah, it was so hard to say uh, from... Reframing from saying not not saying show that titty. I'm just playing. I would have been like, you know how many times I beat my meat deal films. 
I ain't gonna front, bro. I didn't really watch Missy Stone like that. I've probably watched like this is a crazy conversation. Early I, Missy Stone. I probably did it to her shit maybe like two times. One of the reasons why I didn't watch a lot of Missy Stone, she was fucking a lot of white men. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah, for sure. You had to scour for some black. <laughs> She was fucking a lot of black men, but she was man, fucking a lot of white men. You had to scour for a good Misty Stone film, boy. But I, when I was interviewing, I was like, yeah, my favorite one for me that. I don't know if you ever seen what she did, The Family Guy. See, I like parody shit. Yeah, I don't so get when she did the, parody <laughs> shit. I don't do that. So when she did The Family Guy That's parody, weird. that was fire. I don't know, bro. She played, uh, <laughs> she played Cleveland Wife. Yeah, bro. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. You don't want to see uh, I don't want to see nobody in no costume. You don't see Quagmire shit. get coochie? No, bro. I just want to see <laughs> shit gear toe up. See, and she played um Denise also. She was in the Cosby one. All right, that's that's see, insane. I like parody ones, but the parody ones get weird after a while. Like, bro, they be weird from the <laughs> beginning. I remember I watched the one called uh, it was a Pokeball one called Strokey Mod. See, that would make me mad, bro. That would make me mad as fuck. It will bring a Pikachu costume get put. <laughs> I seen the um I seen the <coughs> Friday one. I had to cut I that seen, shit off pretty I quick. I seen the Friday one. See now, it, it, it Ain't get, it a barbershop <coughs> one? So bar, a, barbershop one's fire. Yeah, I, I cut that one on and I was like The Barbershop one is fire, bro. It's like no nothing wrong with the barbershop yeah, one. It got Roxy Reynolds in it. Yeah. What's the woman chick? I think Tony Sweets. Mm-hmm. That they, shit. They, yeah, that that that, that one that's was fire. A, that's a classic duo. Yeah, that was that was a fire one. The good time one was good too. The good time one was good, actually. See what the parody ones always got weird. Like for example, the family guy one with Missy Stone in it. It was a scene where it was like See, I'm investing in the cartoons and all that shows. It's like you gotta keep the continuity. You can't be weird with it. So it was a scene where like it was like Quagmire and he fucked Meg. And I was like, that's weird. That's that nigga best friend daughter, bro. I'm like, you can't do that, bro. And she underage. I'm like, this is weird. But that's Quagmire, bro. <laughs> this nigga said giggity giggity nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why would Quagmire fuck Meg? I'm like, this is weird. And then the Martin one when it was But uh, didn't they have a scene where they were kinda hinting at something like that? I mean an episode. I can't remember. Probably. I think Family Guy got an episode that's something probably. like along those lines. Probably. And then I was watching the Martin one and Tommy and Cole ran a train on Gina. I was like, come on, bro. What is this, bro? Yeah, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> I was like, bro, this is, don't do this, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't like that shit. All right, bro. This is. I wish I went and said this before we talk about this. <laughs> I, I actually don't even know how to segue in. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you just got to play it, bro. But salute the jit, bro. He got A, B, on the road. Yeah, man. Yo, I'm up. I told yeah. you I'd get out of room. No way. You did it? Yeah. No way. Let me see, man. Look at oh, this. Oh, shit. He did it. He did it. Zamir, you're the man, Zamir. What's yeah. your average? Let me see. That's his average right there, bro. 90%. You see that? Average. He made it. He made it to the honor roll. Okay, Zamir, go grab whatever you want. Bye. That's all you want? No. What does he want? Like yeah. I want you to make this into an Oreo milkshake. But instead of Oreo, make it into Hershey chocolate cookies and cream. Okay, I got you. So you want me to add cookies and cream Hershey's to it? Yeah, and I one more so. thing. Okay. okay. A big egg and cheese. I got you. Zamir, this is your drink, okay? And that's all you wanted? Yeah. And this is your food? Yeah. There you go. Keep Thank going, you. you heard? Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys remember him, but he made it. Yep. I'm I'm just gonna assume they got white teas. I would have took I would have like let me get oh, yeah. ten black tea, ten white tea. Yeah. Let me get five scratch offs. Let me get as much <laughs> as I can. Nah. I salute the real nigga. I mean uh the little nigga because he only grabbed a few <laughs> things. Yeah. Um so very, very mo modest, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you could tell he was ra raised properly. Um, right. Yeah, mean, for real. I, yeah. I, I mean, he definitely should have grabbed more. But I really wanted to give Bro Behind the Counter the, the award, Real Aki of the Week. <laughs> um, real Aki of the Week. There you go. Um, 
Cause to motivate kids like that is is important. Like I feel like that's that's monumental. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I don't feel like he rewarded him in a way to where it was like, you know, Jit would be expecting every adult to do something like that. I think it was more so one of those things to where it's like, hey man, I I salute you. You know what I mean? Mm. It means something to me that you did this good, and now he has somebody that he can share those. Um, Accolades with, yeah, that's really, yeah, and on the way to the uh, why he doing his next semester, he gonna be thinking about like nigga, this is what I want the next time. Straight up, say. after a while, he gonna be like, all right, that's enough. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, bro, now that you done did it, you can do it, you know, for yourself yeah. type shit. Bro. I'm assuming the kid probably. Dad had like good good grades before. Yeah, yeah. I think he was just you know tr- not to say trouble, but struggling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, my next one, we got another jit doing good. I'ma always salute that shit. I'ma always um uh I guess cheer for that shit. But uh again I, I'm not. I like to see y'all jits failing and crashing out. Green ass. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, joking. I'm also giving this one to the people behind them because the way that they supporting these kids, man, love to see it. Yeah. Oh man, he just came from school. The giddy up, okay. Look at how confident they made this nigga. Oh, what you got? <coughs> man, look, y'all get it. Niggas start y'all dropping get awards on, on y'all. Them. Don't play with that, bro. Yeah, don't give him that money, y'all. Give him that money. Don't play with him. That big. The giddy up. Yeah, the giddy up. <laughs> That's dope. The kid gonna remember that forever. Forever. In a room full of adults, you feel like the man just because you're able to show off your uh, academic accolades. Yeah. That's fire. He gonna look at that bitch. He was like, hey, man, your name, who name is doing that? Yeah, straight up. <laughs> nigga gonna go to class tomorrow and be like, hey, man, I dropped my nuts on you fuck niggas. What a test that. <laughs> that bitch. Uh, Banks got uh, Yakub of the week. All right, we gotta stop saying crack on here, man. So we're gonna go back to saying Yakub. <laughs> we do be spamming crackers. Yeah. But well, this is the last time Banks said this is the crack of the week. We can't play the video because this is a fight, but I just want to commentate this because this shit was funny as fuck. The dude was doing a stream and like he was arguing with some chick and yeah. she brought a dude in the crib and bro started hooking on bro while he was live streaming. But the nigga got an advantage, but he still lost. Yeah. Oh, I'll play it. How you lose in this situation never makes sense. Like and you bro- started- yeah, but yeah. I tried to throw a killer at, at first. Yeah. Yeah. What they say? He ain't pack a punch? <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Bro, they hooking, bro. They hooking, bro. Straight he got up. it. <laughs> bro was getting his ass whooped. Kid him with a kick. Nah, I mean, he done punched that nigga dizzy, bro. <laughs> now she want to jump in. It was a girl on Twitter. She said this reminded her of... Uh, when she had, she said she went on a date and a dude got too drunk and he got his ass beat. Nah, that's crazy. On a date, that's yeah. crazy. Didn't happen to you? What's up? That, that girl that got punched about? in the club. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> She did get, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ain't know how to react after that. I definitely <laughs> drove home thinking, do I see her again? No. Well, I wanted that pussy. But it was crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, she showed her ass the next day. It say man. Sp- this next one is from Aaron. It say man sprays screaming Karen who refuses to leave his yard. Yeah, this was a uh, salute. Fuck out my yard. Fuck out my fucking yard. Fuck out my yard, bitch. Nigga, why she didn't go nowhere? Why she, she didn't roll up her window? She just sit there. Ah. She is fucking retarded. <laughs> Nigga, that bitch probably malfunctioned. They probably can't even roll up the wall that water he was shooting at. <laughs> uh, this one from King. He said, please don't drink and drive. Yeah, this one. This is a crazy video. I I see see oh. 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 oh, shit. No. Hey, you hit the cat park there, bro. How much we no drink tonight? Hey, 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 gotta stop. Everybody get in the car. Get in the car. Go, 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 get. Hop in, gang. No way. He's starting live, 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 live. Oh fire God. truck coming. Oh, he crashed. He just crashed again. He hit the fire truck. You fucking goofball. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, get his ass. Yo, he's on the run. Oh, shit. He's running. Get his ass. Stop him, stop him. 
hiding right there. Get down. Stay the fuck down. That's back here. You almost killed like 30 fucking people. No, I did not. Just don't fucking move. You know what kind of car you hit? Ambulance. You're coming through an ambulance dying. Well, no, my car is messed up, right? Who's yeah, about your car? Your car's fucking done. Well, who's gonna pay for that? Me? Yeah. Listen, you'll sober up in jail, you'll bail out. I'm Just don't do, do not do anything more stupid and you're gonna be okay. They're here, they're here, Troy. It's time for jail, bro. For 20 minutes. Oh. That's all that happened? So these things are tanks. That's insane, bro. <laughs> This thing is not even damaged. Wow. That much and then that little over there. Good lord. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't drink and drive. But they had a hard time catching him also. I was like, y'all can't catch a bro drunk ass on feet? Yeah, it's insane that it took the police all that time to react to as much what's going on there. Yeah. Oh, uh, this one from Rain. <laughs> I actually can't support this one. Fuck it, we backed up. I'm finna start selling weed on this motherfucker. Hey, right, bro, I ain't gonna lie. They said they want 30 because it's their last blunt, but it's some good. All right. You got 30? I do, big homie. Yeah, man. Look, it's some good. Show your I buddy. Smell it, you smell it? Yeah. Give me 30. That's 30. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's 30. That's $30? That's nice good. doing business with you, bro. Y'all need something else? I need some Molly's and Perkins and other. Uh, paper. Do you have a paper? Nah, I'll try to find you. I'll try to yeah, get you. I got you a blunt. Damn, you look like you're ready to kill somebody. Spooky dookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that spooky dookie take me out. <laughs> See, I don't know what's going on. So what, you just served him some bad weed? Nah, he just served him some weed. He gave him way too much for what he was asking for, and especially in that situation. I would have taxed the fuck out them crackers, and he would have got half of that for 30. Yeah. He would have got a piece of that for 30. Nigga talking about this my la this day last blunt. Bruh clearly don't smoke. Cause that nigga took a L on that one for real, but it's one of those. Hey, he probably was just showing love, like we 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 here, mm. but nigga gonna pay. I right, bless him. Mm. That's crazy. All right, they need my, they need. I said I about to say I need my ass beat. You do, I do. All right, uh, they need their ass beats. I got a little Wayne, bro. I don't know. He came from a, a codeine coma. Man tweeted. Of course, I don't know if y'all heard whacked out murals. Uh, Kendrick took a little couple couple of stabs at Wayne and Snoop. Uh, Wayne replied, "Man, what the fuck I do? I just be chilling, and they still come for my head. Let's not take kindness for greatness for weakness for boy. weakness kindness for weakness. <laughs> let this let this giant sleep. I beg you all. No one really wants destruction, not even me. But I shall destroy if disturbed." On me, love, bro. Stop it, Wayne. I don't know if he, like I said, he was on some good drugs that day. Boy, him Wayne, and Drake be sniffing that booty juice. Yeah, Wayne, we've heard your 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 diss tracks, especially the ones you did to push your T. Those were assola. You cannot hang with with uh, Kendrick. And Kendrick made a good point, bro. You was little low key acting like a Karen, bro. No, nobody said the the Super Bowl was for you, bro. Like. You got to get over it, bro. You're not going to have a moment. It's over. Nigga, look at you. <laughs> it was a it was a, a, a picture of Wayne today. A nigga said he like a turtle out of the shell. Yeah. All that, bro. Wayne, I feel like Wayne wanted the, the greatest man, but he he did a lot of damage to himself this year. But say, it was a good moment this with year, the Hot Boys reunion. This nigga done did damage to himself since 2008, 9? All right. All right. Maybe. I ain't co-signing, bro. Shit. We got to be honest <coughs> at some point. That's what keep us in this same state of illusion. All right, bro. I'm move on. This is the doctor right here that I was talking about earlier that was with the women. Yeah. That, was, that was butt ass naked. According to board documents, this video was taken in 2019 Diffinay family practice in Blyville. In it, Dr. David Diffinay can be seen walking around naked, including in the hallway between patient rooms. Another video clip sent in shows him in the receptionist area walking around three women and performing a sex act directly in front of one of the women. The clip ends with him ejaculating on her. According to what? the documents we received, not only did the woman work in Diffinay's office as a lab tech for another company, 
She was one of his patients. According to the person who sent the board the videos, this all happened during business hours. They also claimed Diffinay used his, quote, position of power, sexual grooming, salary increases to groom employees and patients into repulsive acts. At least one person agrees. Dr. Bradley Diner with the Arkansas Medical Foundation wrote, quote, the pervasive behavior leads to concerns about a sexual compulsive disorder of paraphilia, which may in fact cross boundaries with his delivery of medical care. An investigator with the Arkansas Department of Health interviewed Dr. Diffinay in September. According to the report from that that interview, Dr. Diffinay was informed there were video clips of his actions. Dr. Diffinay said, quote, I don't know anything about that at all. I'd have to see those things to have any idea what you're talking about, end quote. Bro, did you see him getting that pizza with his meat? Bro, body dangling just out meat out, nigga. Bruh, new I, definition I of meat lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's that that is insane. You can say y'all ain't ordered the meat lovers. I brought it myself, bro. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's insane. I don't want to hear anything <laughs> else about meat lovers, <laughs> meat mountains. No food that has meat in the title. Hey, man, he a, <laughs> he a sick man with sick thoughts. I think Yakub like him should die. <laughs> yes, indeed. I, I concur. Yeah, I'm skipping over all these, man. I got woke. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I can't hate hard enough. I can't hate hard enough. Man, fuck this nigga, man. We don't need to bring up these times. Oh, Jonathan Major, man. <sighs> yeah, Jonathan Major, man. He uh he announced his engagement to Megan Good. We don't got to man. Fuck that nigga, bro. But actually, she kind of need her ass beat too for it. <coughs> well, yeah, I don't know, bro. Yeah, she do need her ass beat. And she I, not she not moving she classy. Pay, she pay her bill. She pay, apparently she paid his all his bills, including his child support. Mm-hmm. Crazy. I need me a dumb bitch like that. I mean, I need me a woman like that. Well, she is <laughs> uh, showing that she dumb. But. Speaking of dumb bitches, man, whoa, Vicky, and she gonna get what she want. Also, she tweeted, "I'm a I'm a white Christian single woman who's looking for a successful black athlete. Football or basketball is fine with me." Let's have children and be loyal and get married. Any takers? Oh, yeah. She going to get what she want because y'all niggas out here stupid. Yeah. Y'all niggas going to get whoa, Vicky pregnant. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, I, disgusting. Like, I'm so saddened with the black community and, and white people. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on it. All right. Well, this one from you. This one, the T.I. What T.I. do? T.I. T. I made this dumbass. Uh, video about this guy denying them entry, I believe because they didn't have ID or something like that. Oh, this is not his first time doing that. You ever seen a video when he was at the little he was trying to get into somebody's crib and um, the dude was asking for the ID and he was like, open the motherfucking door, partner. The oh, dude just went show his ID and they're like, bro, you gotta show your ID no matter who you is. Yeah, bro, bro like y'all, uh I'm right here in Austin, Texas. I'm in Austin, Texas on, uh, what it is it? What is it, 6th Street? Right, look on out. East 6th Street at a place called uh, Revelry. Rainy? Okay, Rainy Street, place called Revelry. There's a sucker up here at the front. There's a sucker right here at the front. Showing his ass as people. This sucker nigga right here talking about I need some ID to get in somewhere. Huh? Don't worry about it. This sucker right here, this sucker right here talking about I need some ID to get in somewhere. Any nigga with some shoes like that ain't gonna keep me out of nowhere, man. Uh-huh. Nigga wear them peppermint pattern shoes. Hey. That man got on, this man got on a guy a uh, Walmart a Versace shirt while with them got Ross, them Ross pants. And, and the nipple but what your nipple hard for, man? Why your nipple hard for, man? That boy got, got that. That boy got them thick ass ankles. But look at that boy ankle poking out the side of them peppermint padded shoes. But what is that velvet? What is that velvet? Hell no. Nah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you too, buddy. We on him right now, though. But look at the ass shoes. Boy, who gave you them guys ass shoes, boy? Your grandma put them up in a birthday card. Was for five cent dollars, didn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me. Pardon me, man. All right, now. All right. All right. Back to your whole ass business. Yeah, man. So if y'all in Austin, just make sure you don't come to Reverie. That's all. Be, y'all be cool, man. Come c- catch us at Cap City.
tonight. That was corny. The crazy did. thing is, right? I did get a little laugh, but it was from a woman, though. Yeah. Um, he tripping because he had to show his ID, right? Imagine if a thousand niggas showed up to that club tonight without no ID. Yeah. I was talking about don't come to no T.I. <coughs> concert. They ain't dropped 24, though. So he ain't... They ain't dropped... They made 24, bro. Shit, 24s don't come with a picture and a, a fucking man, uh, man, they ain't rock, date man. of birth. They ain't, they ain't drop a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, bro. They ain't drop Urban Legend. Yeah. He ain't got a show ID, bro. Well, he can't I'm show. just thinking like I'm just thinking like Ti. He said he made. He can't show hit. them pistols no more, so that nigga better <laughs> show some ID. I would have. <laughs> if it was just Ti, that that that, oh, that Dominican would have beat his ass up and down. You them know, peppermint you know, patty. You know, Ti got some got some allegations. They say he a snitch and whatnot. Yeah, I would have been like, we gotta see your ID, officer. As soon as he said, <laughs> put that camera out. That's funny. I'm like, officer, we need to see your ID. That's funny. He probably would have swung on me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the next one from you also. Uh, I think somebody had like a, a restaurant oh, in the house. Oh, bruh. Well, I mean, okay, so I tried a new eating venture this weekend. This was a house that the man turned into a soul food takeout <laughs> restaurant. Um, you don't ring the doorbell. You just walk in this man's Boy, house and he really lives baby. there. Oh. Um, you know, he was peeling potatoes and I guess he had to go to the back to cook. But the food was really amazing. Um, that's the buffet where you choose from. He had chicken and turkey and pork steaks and uh, uh, hamburger steaks, all kind of stuff. Um, you're not really going to come in here and talk crazy to this man. This man has order. I even saw cigarettes um, sitting in the kitchen. So he clearly smokes his cigarettes and serves us our food. But when I tell you it was absolutely delicious, the plates are about $13. I even had banana pudding. Oh, my God. And everything was, no, for real, it was good. Everything was he. Look at them yams, bro. Them yams look good as fuck. Nah, bro, that shit sitting that in corn, collard green juice. That corn look nasty. Not a yam juice. Nah, bro, that yam juice is green, bro. Look at the corner. And then the corn juice is clearly all in the yams. Like Yeah, uh, yam juice, like sometimes, yeah, that's like that's yam juice, especially if it's like sitting in the sugar. Yeah, that sugar start to turn a little black. Yeah, that's yams. Nah, bro, they got that collard green in that Bro, that's juice. not collard green. That's yam juice, nigga. Bro, I'm just saying, is nah, he yam got, juice in there? Nah, he got... Nah, but on both that, them on, juices have cross-contaminated. Bro, you don't... Nigga, you don't like yam? You don't like yams mixed with your other shit? Nah. Yeah, they like... My yams gonna be by, my, by they damn. Nah, yams taste good. Sometimes when that the collard green, the greens mixed with the yams, and sometimes you get the, the mac with the yams, the mac and cheese and the yams. I don't eat mac and cheese, and I eat my greens with hot sauce. Do you, like, when you eat soul food, do you eat, like, everything separate? I eat everything separate, period. Boy, you ain't beat out. For the most part. You ain't beat out, man. Y'all can't <laughs> some y'all cool, man. Nah, now, that's nasty right there, eating corn. That corn. Oh is my nasty. God! Are you serious? No, I'm saying the corn with the corn and yams is nasty. Yeah, that's disgusting. And I mean, again, the food don't look bad. It just it you, don't, you know, black people. If it's so, we'll eat soul food out of fucking uh, Jeffrey Dahmer house. Yeah, if, that's it, true. if Jeffrey Dahmer has some neck bones, niggas gonna eat that. Day. <laughs> well, actually, he literally had neck bones. <laughs> Alright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer literally had neck bones. Bro. Nigga had... served neck bone sandwiches. <coughs> he had ass bones too. All right, um. All right, man. You want to do all these? Um, those are all mine. Yeah, it's like Damn. I don't know what this one is. Chick tried to do the most all because she got caught cheating. I guess we play this one. Oh, this one was crazy. <laughs> And everybody see, I'm um, right here, just like she did on my birthday a couple years ago when I told her grandmother she was in the bathroom beating her motherfucking self up. To what? <laughs> she mad because she out here cheating, telling niggas that they can get her pregnant and all that. I'm not upset. I just want her to acknowledge that she fucked up, but she tell my fucking kid. Hey, from a distance, don't get out there bathroom, bro. You're not gonna do shit crazy on my way, huh? <laughs> but he should have left her dumb ass. She trying to act like she hanging herself? Yes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Come on. 
<laughs> she cheated on me, she <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Dumb ass girl. <laughs> oh, bruh. To the audio listeners, this lady put a bed sheet a she bit, thick ass bed sheet. On the on the bathroom, the, the curtain rod and jumped and the whole thing fell. <laughs> and I'm glad bro recorded it because bro was drinking an old English out of can. Yeah. And you know he's stressed. That no that's domestic violence beverages. Bruh. So if I see if I come in, if if I hear that uh <laughs> Woman said she got her ass beat, and I yeah. look and see some old English. I'm like, yeah, yeah you beat her ass. Yeah. Bro. So I'm glad he recorded that for his own safety. <laughs> that was crazy. The dumbass bitch at the end <coughs> had me crying, nigga. Uh, we'll do a couple of these. We ain't gonna do all these. Uh, this one's Paper or Sam. Hey, man, shout out Paper or Sam, man. He was just on stream with Agent, man. He, had, he repped R.E.O.P., man. He had that R.E.O.P. sweatshirt. We gotta get some one of the screens. Realest. You gotta get some screenshots to post those. I man. got one. But it's got my best in it too. Nah, bro. We need some. I seen you. We need some high quality <laughs> shit. That bit blurry, bro. All right. Uh, this one from Paperwork Sam. He said, uh, well, he didn't say the thing says Dallas influencer Ashley Grayson sentenced to 10 years in prison for hiring someone for $60,000 to kill her rival and a woman who left uh, negative comments about her online. Good lord, big ass. That chain is insane. That chain fake as fuck. Hey man, big ass look kind of deep. She look big ass look kind of decent. Hey, what, what's her uh, J pay? Put something on her books. Five dollars. Yeah, you gonna get killed in ten years. <laughs> she gonna kill me. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I gotta repay you by killing you. That's crazy. You was being cheap all them years. <laughs> <laughs> she like, I kill you for not putting ten. Uh. I ain't gonna say yeah, I, I ain't gonna say the slur I was gonna say. Yeah. I do this one. This he one already right. fighting against slurs. It say Kendrick Lamar cannot say a slur. And this dude, he looks like a, a word that starts with a P. <laughs> and a P-O, and you do the rest. This video oh, is gonna be for black people. If you're not black, you can say yeah. I really don't give a fuck. But like um I'm up just hold my hand. Grab my hand, because we need to have this conversation. Absolutely in no circumstances. Gay niggas going to be gay. Lamar yeah. be able to say the slur that starts with an E that indigenous people, the Inuit people have said is a slur. Every, look, hold, hold on. <coughs> Don't get up in arms with me, okay? No, I ain't going to play this He probably he didn't know. Yeah. Obviously, many of us did not know. I've known for quite some time. Let's but like, I know everybody uh, doesn't know. I can't stand people tapping about and doing all of that is, shit with every word that they say. You're allowed to change your mind or your stance. Okay, hear me out. When Beyonce was told... I'm gonna say this, man. This is this is what's wrong with us people. That's where the heart is fucked, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me look at it. Examine this whole fit. You just gotta take. You just gotta take do do rag. I mean, mean, you gotta add punk to it. (laughs) (laughs) We got the septum piercing. That already adds. Yeah, yeah. Punk. Oh, he wasn't done. (laughs) <laughs> bro, he got to have that punk flair. <laughs> bro, that bro, we got to stop. We got to start minding our black ass business, bro. Letting them uh uh Kendrick said Eskimos. I think they want to call Inuits or something like that. Yeah. Inuits, yeah. Let those people fight their battles, bro. Cuz them same people that y'all be trying to fight them battles for, well, they be calling us niggas and you're a gay man. They're probably calling you the, the F word, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like that one, you ever seen that meme where it was like, uh, what is said? Uh, Charlie said something. He said, he said something. And the black dude was, was like, interrupt him. He's like, they, them. And the guy was like, yeah, right. They, them called you a nigger. Cause I'm like that's exactly what happened. Like, bro, y'all be trying to like cake for these people. One hundred percent. Like, bro, you we need to worry about ourselves, bro. <sighs> yeah, fuck that nigga. Cause <laughs> I, ain't, I don't even want to get into it. Yeah, bro, we need to worry about ourselves, bro. We need to that sexual that, that especially that Shabuzi shit. I don't feel bad for Shabuzi. He trying that shit that happened with the country awards, yeah. and they were like they wasn't fucking with him. 
I was like, bro, that's what that's a the exact gatekeeping we need to do to on our shit. One hundred percent. I don't feel bad for him because he's kicking their ass. They yeah. just trying to do whatever they can right now to yeah. make it seem different. Like yeah. that nigga everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, we I respect the CMAs for doing you know the gatekeeping they do. Yeah, only part I didn't like was the uh the one that, when a white dude went on stage and said we have been kicking shabuzi. That was racist. The yeah, that was racist as thing. fuck. That was racist. I, I want to. I, I wish we could put a whip to that nigga, <laughs> to that cracker. That's exactly it. All like my bad, yeah, cool. <laughs> but all like that same gatekeeping. Because Beyonce ain't getting no nominations. And Shabuzi, they gave him some here nigga damn shit. But hold on. But they were like, we not going to give you no awards. I can respect Beyonce not getting it. And <coughs> here's Uh-oh. why I say that. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Bees, hold on. Hold on. Bees. Bees. All right. This Shabuzi first song. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know that Shabuzi has a history of rapping. We don't know if Shabuzi got a hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he came out with the album. I'm going to be honest. I don't think. Did anybody actually listen to that album for real? I didn't. I yeah. can tell you that now. Uh, but every song that I've heard, Shabuzi is doing country. Oh, so he does country music. He does country but music. But Beyonce dropped the whole country album. I think in that regard, it's no different than when the churches said they're not giving Kanye um, an award for Jesus Walks. I think it's one of those things to where, hey, I can acknowledge, I can appreciate, I can respect you t- tapping into my, my genre. I got you, but then Kanye also won some. He won some gospel awards for Jesus is King when he made that gospel album. But he also was trying to, you know, present a yeah because he wanted change because Kanye won a, a gospel Grammy for Jesus is King. Mm. Yeah, but again, I I think that they see, hey Beyonce, you're making a. I think they just didn't give her the award because they felt like they didn't have to, and they gave Shabuzi the award yeah. because. They were like, okay, well, we did give this one black guy a nomination, but we just not going to give him no awards. We just going to nominate him. I think they had no choice but to nominate him. Mm. They had no ch- Like, that's the biggest country song. But he should have right won now. also, but they didn't give it to him. I was like, I don't know what won over him, but it's like, I can't think of anything that... Again, it's a it's a, it's a a business, bro. Cause so. they, didn't, cause they didn't give Lil Nas X an award, and that shit was like one of the highest selling records ever. Right, but it it, it, it brought <coughs> attention from a whole nother demographic, right? Yeah. So it brought more money, more opportunity for their artists. Yeah. The gatekeeping we need, they do, is just, you know, again, we don't like how they do it. That same gatekeeping that um they did at the country, we need to do that at the BT Awards. There should be no reason why... Post Malone should be getting a BET Award nomination, whoever. Um, Sam um, Smith, when when I seen Sam Smith um, nominated. I think, that, he, I think he won that motherfucker. Yeah, I, I can't even remember. That shit sent me over the edge, and I really ain't watched the BET Awards since. Yeah, I seen they had they, Adele been nominated. I was like, bro, come on, bro. And on uh, uh, Payton and Bay, they're talking about Iggy won one year. Yeah. And I was like, bro, come on, bro. That's why we got artists like... Um, the Georgiana chick or whatever. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that bro. They let in uh what's the white girl from the <clears throat> Proud family? They let her rap. The white girl from the Proud family. Yeah, the one that had moved like just moved there, tall, linky. Oh, you oh you roasting her. That's what you said she looked. Yeah, yeah basically, oh. bro. That's who's rapping right now. Oh, that's I just... like happy to do. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh-huh. That's no different. That's remedial music. That's to be honest, Lord. That's like pretty much like the whole. We were just talking about Woe Vicky. That's just Woe Vicky rapping. Yes. Yeah, that shit lame, and that. And, and then it, she, she like the fact that her and nineteen hundred Rugrats is like trying to unite and and push this white unity shit, <laughs> bro. I don't like it. I oh, don't like it. Oh yeah, that nineteen hundred Rugrats, bro. Y'all gotta stop playing that song. That's lame. That song, they're trying to push. Every, he does not make good music, yeah, at all. That one song, it's like okay, I can tolerate okay. this, but yeah, nah. But I even ain't. if the song is good, the whole the act of it is corny, bro. Y'all got that cracker? Like, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, <laughs> like he's clearly like, bro. Y'all playing the fuck out of him. Y'all put on the platform. I'm sorry, bro. That's y'all shit. let them crackers come in, play black, all the way until they get enough money, bro. 
And as soon as they get enough cheese, you see all their true colors. That nigga, that, that motherfucker been dressing like just all <coughs> kinds of ridiculous. Dressing like a fucking fool. Yeah, bro. Hey, man. That's been all the uh, real niggas of the weekend. They need their ass beats. Uh, send those in once again. Hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast.com. Mail at ariopodcast.com. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all Thanksgiving. I haven't For got real? there yet, but I already know I am. I'm, hey, man, I was just in Granny Crib today, man. Crib smelling amazing. I can't wait. I almost, I almost stole one of them pies. Shit, boy. I know I'm getting some pound cake. Some motherfucking... Um... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's probably what I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, I already, I already know your your uh, sweet potato pie horror story. So, yeah, I am gonna <laughs> get some more this year. I just, just gotta just, just make sure you cut the lights on. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we had like four pies that year though. Yeah, so it was crazy. Hey, in the comments, man, if y'all watching it, let me know what kind of sweet potato pie you like. Do you like it cold or? You like it warm, cause me, I put my as soon as I get the sweet potato pie, that shit going in the, in the refrigerator. Oh, I thought you was gonna say you warm it up. No, no, sweet potato pie is in the refrigerator. Mm. See, my grandma when she make it, she make all the sweet potato pie by like Monday or Tuesday, so they just sit and they go. When we, f- she do, I never eat it at her crib. I, I always bring it back and put it in the refrigerator. So see, like, I like mine's like left out. You know what I mean? Like room temperature kind of. Nah, bro, that big I be That's cold. That's why I had that mold. Uh, the- <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like the sweet potato. Sweet potato pie out of the refrigerator is amazing. I put. She always give me like two or three. I eat, I have one put in the refrigerator. I will give it to you that it is good. I just don't like. How solid it becomes, you know what I'm saying? Like it become like a damn cheesecake slice almost. You know what I'm saying? Like not as firm, of course, yeah. but um Yeah, I can't stand room temperature sweet potato pie. Boy, when that shit is soft and you like man, what? Yeah. I might bring back two of them hoes this year. But I might bring one up to the studio and leave it in the fridge. I'm probably gonna be the only one eating it, but we'll see. We'll see. Depending on when I get back, shit. Oh. Hey, I'm going to eat that bit. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to eat it. Ah! <laughs> well, that's it. We out.